Good evening and welcome to the YouTube channel, How to Get an 800 Credit Score. My name is Lyndon Baptiste and welcome everyone uh, to another uh, weekly live stream of How to Get an 800 Credit Score. And tonight we're going to talk about uh, Janelle's approval for the IKEA Project credit card. Uh, she got approved for a $5,500 limit and we're so excited for her about her approval to also. So let's get right into it. Welcome to the YouTube channel, How to Get an 800 Credit Score. My name is Lyndon Baptiste and on this channel we talk about ways to increase your credit score, build credit, and get approved for the lowest payments on mortgages and lines of credit, loans, in how to travel the world for free, uh, earn extra money with cash back and bonuses. And if that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. That way you'll never miss a single video as we make them. Yeah, hi, welcome back again. Um, so uh, basically uh, what happened was Janelle had went on the IKEA uh, project credit card pre-approval site. And lo and behold, she was pre-approved for a $5,500 um, limit uh, on that credit card. So she went ahead and she applied for it and she got approved. So this is the credit card I'm putting here up on the screen right here for all of you to see. This is the IKEA project uh, credit card. And it also comes with a membership uh, to the IKEA family program uh, to also as well. Um, so we're going to go over um, some of the details of this credit card and some of the things that we like about the credit card and maybe some things that we don't like about the credit card uh, to also as well. Uh, so here are the details of the credit card here. Um, this is the IKEA project uh, credit card. Um, and it has one thing that we do like about this is that it have a 0% interest rate for six months, 12 months or 24 months uh, to also as well. And this is means 0% uh, will pay no interest at all for either six months or 12 months or 24 months, depending on the amount of the purchases that we make on this card to also as well. So after that period, the purchase APR is going to be 21.99%. Okay. Um, so basically, this is how it works. Okay. Uh, um, on purchases that we make for $500, um, that includes the six month plan. So if we spend uh, $500, uh, we get the six month plan where we will pay zero interest for six months. Um, if we spend $1,500, uh, we get the 12 month plan where we spend 0% for 12 months. Or if we spend $5,000, we get the 24 month plan uh, where we spend 0% and interest uh, for 24 months. So that's an entire two years of no interest payments at all uh, whatsoever. So Basically, this is kind of like an, uh, you know, pay as we go kind of credit card uh, deal here. To, but we like the zero interest um, offer here too also as well because we won't be charged any interest. But the downside about this is that if we do, in fact, um, do not pay off the pull balance um, in full or at least pay the credit card down to seven below 7%, um, each month, it will affect our credit score. Um, so that we do not want to happen. So even though we are offered this 0% interest rate for up to two years here on this credit card, um, we plan to still pay off the balance in full if we do, in fact, use this credit card, which we will be using the credit card um, just to keep the credit card open uh, we will not be putting hardly any spend at all on this credit card. And the reason being is because we don't have a need to buy any new furniture right now. Um, so therefore, 
Uh, we will probably be making a small spend by purchasing something very small, maybe every three or four months. So that way we can keep the credit card open and have the account continue to report to the major credit bureaus every month as a $5,500 credit limit, which is good to have high credit limits uh, because this is actually a prime card. Um, so it does boost, uh, you know, Janelle's credit score because it keeps her credit card utilization low. Okay. And like I said, we plan on keeping it below 7%. Okay. So it also says here, you don't have to pay for Ikea product purchases all at once. The Ikea project card lets you pay off a single purchase over time. So you don't have to wait to get the home that you want. I kind of like the way they uh, advertise that, you know, <laughs> getting the home that you want, uh, basically, is what they advertising here, which is pretty strategic marketing there. And so here's a little more information, a special offer. Um, you know, if we shop online on Thanksgiving Day, uh, we get uh, free click and connect. We can skip the lines and actually pick up anytime after 1 p.m. on Friday. So we don't have to wait on any long lines uh, for like Black Friday or, Friday or anything like that. We can skip the lines. It's kind of like a TSA pre-checked, you know, for the IKEA project credit card. Okay, we skip the lines, go all the way to the counter, get our stuff, then we go home great deal. Uh, the second thing is the BOGO meal deal coupon. Uh, if we buy one Ikea restaurant entry, uh, we get one free. Uh, two also, we can pick up our order after 1, uh, after 1 p.m. Okay, and here's some more details about the Ikea project card. Uh, special finance details. Uh, it says interest will be charged to the account from the end of the promotional period on any remaining promotional plan balance. Minimum payments are required for each credit plan. The sum of the required payments each billing period won't be less than $35 or account balance. If less, minimum payments are not guaranteed to pay the promotional plan balance within the promotional period. You may have to pay more than the minimum payment to avoid paying interest. So this is some of the small fine print here that's included here in this 0% uh, interest uh, deal. Some balances may be paid off before the promotional period ends. Your minimum payment may be higher than if you do not, did not select promotional financing. Valid for single transaction only, subject to credit approval. Uh, so this is based on you know, maybe a soft pull of Janelle's credit report. Um, and as of July 19, uh, terms provided for new accounts, minimum interest charge of $2 per credit plan in any billing period in which interest is due. Existing card holders, it says see your credit card agreement for account uh, details. And this particular card, the IKEA project credit card is issued uh, by Comenity Capital Bank uh, too also as well. And, and a lot of these uh, credit cards from Comenity Bank, however, people, um, they're very, you know, they're not too difficult to get approved for, though, mind you, uh, Comenity Bank can deny some people, uh, you know, all depending on your situation. And uh, if you're looking to get approved for some store credit cards that's issued by Comenity Bank, maybe Victoria's Secret or Home Depot or Lowe's, or even the IKEA project credit card, for example, um, I would suggest going finding a pre-approval uh, site or link so that way you can know your odds of approval before you even apply, okay? Uh, so here's the breakdown here. You get 0% interest for six months uh, with minimum purchase of $500 or more, okay? So for $500, we get 0% interest for six months, okay? If we spend $1,500 or more, we get 0% interest for 12 months. If we spend $5,000 or more, we get 0% interest for two years, uh, basically. And after that financing period ends, 
the standard purchase APR of 121.99% uh, will apply. And it also uh, it automatically enrolls Janelle into the uh, family, family, Ikea family program. Okay. Which she can also benefit from additional savings with that program too, also as well. Uh, so here are some of the benefits here, um, you know, that is being offered right now. Actually, um, some of the promotional offers are like up to $200 off of sleeper sofas, uh, 20% off of all day beds, uh, 50% off of millery table lamps. Um, and all of these promotions here end on December 8th of this year. And also you get a uh, 50% off of Strandmon wing chair, uh, which is a red uh, Norvella red color wing chair. And also you buy any three sparkling drinks for six ninety nine. dollars um, two also as well. So those are some of the promotions. I'll show you guys some of the promotions here. The IKEA family offer here is 50% off. Of the, this is the uh, the wing chair uh, I was talking to you guys about here. You get 50% off of this chair and the drinks here for $6.99. Um, <clears throat> here are some other offers here. This is the sleeper sofa um, $200 off, <coughs> which the sleeper sofa is kind of, you know, it's kind of nice for someone who's looking for a sofa that transitions out into a bed, right? Something that you can probably keep in your living room. Like if you have an extra guest or something, a uh, family member or friend come over, um, you know, you can have them sleep on the sofa because it transforms into a bed, right? Um, and here is 20% also, you get 20% off of all day beds and 50% off of the lamps, the Miller lamps too, also as well. So that's not too bad. And I believe uh, these offers are being given because of the uh, Black Friday coming up and the Thanksgiving too. So a lot of stores are actually giving huge savings and cash back discount so you guys need to get up on this <clears throat> if you want to order online and avoid the long lines at the stores um then you know that might be a better option for you but if you're a die hard shopper soldier then you you want to go out there if you live in a big city you want to go out there and get to the store hours or maybe a day before they open hey you know i won't judge you <laughs> okay now, here's the offer that Janelle got here, the actual approval that Janelle received here um, from Ikea and Community Bank. Um, you know, basically here it says, you know, you're approved. You're ready to enjoy all the benefits. Congratulations. Uh, all the benefits with your Ikea project credit card. And the credit limit is $5,500. And she should receive her welcome package. Uh, which should arrive with the credit card in the mail within the next uh, two weeks um, to also as well. So all of that should be on its way. Um, so basically I, you know, we, we don't plan on really um, using this card, you know, what we plan on doing, uh, like I said earlier uh, in this video is we plan on keeping the card open for a very long time, maybe forever, if that is even possible to keep a credit card open forever. Um, and, and the reason for that being is because we <laughs> want that $5,500 credit limit to keep reporting to all the major credit bureaus every month. Um, so that you know establishes stable uh, payment history for Janelle too also as well. Um, and it also increases her total credit limit, which also decreases or lowers her overall credit card utilization, thereby rising, increasing her credit score. Now, because this is a new account, however, this will lower her credit score, maybe just a bit, but it may not. It may not because of the high credit limit that the card has. Okay, uh, the card may actually raise her credit score up, 
or if it does, maybe uh, not by uh, very much. So what I'm going to do now, as we always do here, is I'm going to go ahead and jump in right into the comments here and uh, recognize you guys that are in here um, tonight. Recognize uh, everyone, as much people as I can. Janelle's going to help me so I don't miss any comments too also. And I'm going to answer, we, Janelle and I are going to be answering you guys' questions um, too also as well as we go along. By the way, Happy Thanksgiving, guys. I'm not sure if I'll be doing a video or live stream tomorrow is Thanksgiving. We may. We're thinking about it, but we're not sure. If we do, we will definitely let you guys know. So first and foremost, the first comment comes from Janelle. She says, good evening and happy Thanksgiving to all of our families out there. Thank you so much. That's Janelle waving behind me, uh, too, also as well. Everyone, please say hello to Janelle. And also, everyone, please say hello to Pink Lady, too, one of our veterans here on this channel. We're so grateful for Pink Lady, who says hello, fam, and congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much, Janelle says. Thank you, uh, Pink Lady, for the congratulations. Critical Thinker is back once again. He says hello to all. And Critical Thinker, thank you so much. I appreciate you, buddy. And uh, everyone, please say hello to Cr Critical Thinker as well. Denise Santiago is back once again, people. She says, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving, Denise. Happy Thanksgiving, Critical Thinker. Happy Thanksgiving, <laughs> Pink Lady. And happy Thanksgiving, Janelle. So everyone, please say hello to Denise Santiago, Santiago who is joining us from a Facebook uh, group called GoFundMe Sharing. So everyone, please say hello to Denise uh, Santiago, too, also as well. And uh, let's see what other comments oh, uh, do we have Facebook? here. Yes, also on Facebook, uh, we have a new person who is joining our live stream uh, by the name of Lisa Net Corchado. Hi, uh, Lisa Net. Hi, and um, welcome to the chat, uh, too, also as well. Um, thanks for joining. So, everyone, please say hello to Lisa Net Corchado. And uh, let's see. Okay, Critical Thinker says, uh, Janelle, happy uh, get fat and spending the next six months attempting to work it off day. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that, <laughs> Critical Thinker. That's funny. Yeah, because, you know, every year, um, you know, me, I can speak for myself. I, you know, eat a lot on Thanksgiving. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to what I'm saying, but... I eat a lot on Thanksgiving. I think I maybe gain at least 15 pounds. I could be exaggerating. You know, maybe a person would have to eat a lot of food to actually gain 15 pounds. But that's how I feel, you know, every year around Thanksgiving time uh, because I just love the food. You know, I don't get a chance. I don't get the opportunity to eat these types of foods throughout the year. So that's what makes Thanksgiving so special um, to me, uh, uh, you know, in particular, because I don't get a chance to eat, um, these type of foods like stuff, stuffing and cranberries and sauce and, you know, pumpkin pie and all these things here during throughout the year, only on Thanksgiving day. Uh, so that's another reason why I like to pick out their critical thinker says congrats on the card. Yes. Thank you for saying that critical, uh, thinker. Appreciate that. Uh, two, Critical <laughs> Thinker also says that he was on Dwayne's live chat Monday night, but for some reason, uh, he thinks he might have blocked him. Uh, uh, he asked questions and he either ignored them. Okay, well, uh, Critical Thinker, I think uh, Dwayne did not reply to you at all, didn't um, email you back or anything like that. You know Dwayne's email, right? It's... Uh, his email address is helping people prosper <clears throat> at gmail.com. Okay, it's helping people prosper at gmail.com. So I think maybe you might just want to reach out to him and you know send him an email or something like that. Okay. Um <clears throat> Ricky Glenn is just checking in there. Um, happy Thanksgiving, Ricky, and thanks for joining us. Really appreciate you, Ricky. And uh, Ricky says he's just checking in there. Uh, so everyone, please say hello to Ricky Glenn. Pleasure to see you back there, Ricky. Thanks for joining again. Ronald Anderson is back in the building, people. Um, and happy Thanksgiving to you also, Ronald. And thank you for joining us once again. I appreciate you. Everyone, please say hello to Ronald Anderson. 
uh, Critical Thinker says he was approved for the West Elm card for 1500 and Jared Jules card for 2700 Yeah, um, Critical Thinker, you know, those store cards, they still have, hold some weight. You know what I mean? Those credit limits, they still, um, you know, apply to your credit bureau, you know, uh, providing <coughs> the, that these credit cards actually report to the credit bureaus. Okay, so yeah, you want to make sure that they report uh, to the credit bureaus too, also as well. But for a big name like Jared Jewelers, I would assume that they should be reporting to the credit bureaus. So, but that's very important, you know, um, because we found out that by law, um, these credit card issuers do not have to report anything at all to the credit bureaus, okay? And what they do is voluntary. Voluntarily, they are reporting uh, your accounts to the credit bureaus, okay? So that um, pretty much uh, speaks for the Apple card, I guess. As you all know, some of you that watched the live stream video that we made about the Apple card and why the Apple card may not be helping your credit score, may not be helping you build credit at all. Um, the reason being is because they're not reporting to the credit bureaus. And we have not uh, gotten any updates, any new updates from the Apple card e either, um, from any of the reliable sources out there um, stating that they have. So we're still, uh, um, you know, as far as the information that we have, they still have not reported to anyone's credit bureaus. So they're not helping people build credit. I mean, it may be good though, however, if you are into Apple products, you love Apple, um, you know, and you shop Apple products a lot, then you could have the benefit of earning some cash back, you know, with the Apple credit card. People have told me that they have used the card to buy things online too also as well and has earned um, cash back you know, um, buying things online too also as well. So the Apple card does have some benefits to it, but one of the benefits that it does not have, it does not build your credit at this time. Um, so will that change in the future? It's possible. Apple has said that they are working on um, building the functionality so that they can have it report to the credit bureaus. Whatever that means, building the functionality, I don't know. Okay, so let's see. What else? Uh, yeah, Janelle says, um, <clears throat> you can always ask us and everyone on here as well. That's why we are here, as well as our credit family. So we do our best to answer your questions. Thank you so much for that, Janelle. I appreciate that, uh, too, also as well. Okay. Um, so I'm just looking through the comments here again. Yeah. Okay. We have one comment from Chris Watson. Uh, welcome to the chat. Chris Watson says scam. Wow. The Ikea project credit card is a scam. Chris Watson, <laughs> uh, please do let us know, um, you know, some of the details if you care, if you'd like to share. Okay. So everyone, please say hello to Chris Watson, thank you for sharing, buddy. Okay. Um, Ronald says, congratulations to Janelle on the high limit card. Thank you for saying that, Ronald. I appreciate that, uh, too, also as well. Critical Thinker says, it's weird, but for some reason, for almost a year, Dwayne has never answered one of my questions. I used to think it was because he had so many questions, but that's not the case. Okay, well, I, you know, again, uh, critical. I would definitely follow up with Dwayne, see if you could contact him, email him, or something. You know, maybe he will get back to you on that. <clears throat> Gary Bluen, everyone, please say hello to Gary Bluen. Welcome back, buddy. Uh, really appreciate you joining us once again. Uh, he says, um, yeah, he's, yeah, basically. Um, I don't think Dwayne did it on purpose either. Uh, you just want to email him. Right now, Dwayne is having some issues um, getting a phone number for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, he used to have a contact phone number before, but now he doesn't. Uh, hopefully, he will get another contact number because um, sometimes I do have, um, you know, things I want to speak to him about, you know, so 
I would like to, you know, have a number to contact him on, you know. Um, yeah, so happy Thanksgiving, Gary. Thanks for joining once again. Everyone, please say hello to Gary Bluen, uh, too, also as well. Okay, awesome, awesome. So I'm glad to see all of the interaction here uh, in the chat. This is really a good thing to see, um, you know, you guys uh, having conversations uh, back and forth because it lets YouTube know that there is a lot of interaction here, you know, in the chat. Uh, two also as well. Okay, so yeah, Critical Thinker, I would definitely um, get back with Dwayne. Again, his email is helpingothersprosper at gmail.com. So right now he doesn't have a contact number. Uh, believe me, if he did, I would be calling him because me and him have a lot of conversations, you know, about a lot of different things. Um. Critical Thinker says some YouTubers refuse to answer questions from people with non-traditional names as handles. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That I I I have not experienced that yet. Um, if someone asks asks me a question, I, I, I look at I mean, I had some questionable uh handles, YouTube people with questionable YouTube handles or YouTube names, but if they ask me a question, a lot of times I've answered, you know, I don't believe there was any time where I had anyone that I did not answer the question or at least recognize the question, no matter what their YouTube handle was. But I mean, if some people do that, I mean, that's, you know, I'm not going to judge them at all, you know? So, uh, let's see. Uh, Thank you for saying that, uh, Critical Thinker. Happy Thanksgiving to you also as well. And uh hope you're uh, enjoying your Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> too also. Yeah. Um, yeah, Gary's just uh, following up with your cr Critical Thinker. Yeah, just email him, um, you know, and uh, if that doesn't work, uh, just let me know. I will, you know, mention something to him next time we speak you know, about critical thinker and see, you know, what he has to say about it. And uh, just to let him know that you were trying to contact him. Okay. And Janelle says, hello and welcome our new people and happy Thanksgiving. Thank you uh, for that, Janelle, for welcoming, uh, you know, welcoming the new people. Yeah, we definitely need to welcome them because you are, you know, if you're new to this live stream, uh, we want you to, guys to know that you are definitely appreciated, especially, let me see, what new people did we have? Lisa Nett. Yeah, we appreciate you joining, and thank you so much uh, for, you know, spending your time to watch our live stream, to participate, too, also, as well. We really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And Pink Lady also says hello to the new people and happy Thanksgiving. Yes, happy Thanksgiving, people. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Critical Thinker says it's Thanksgiving Day and a couple of days of leftovers. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of leftovers. That means a lot of sandwiches. But it, it, that's good for me, you know, because um, I'll have a lot of Turkey sandwiches for lunch. I think in our situation, we're going to have uh, chicken this year. However, I don't know why I no. keep talking. You know? Oh, we're having ham. Oh, yeah. you put it on there. We're having ham this year. Uh, last year, we had chicken. Had the chicken. year before, before we that, had we had turkey. turkey. <laughs> um, so this year, we're just going to switch it up a little bit and have ham. You know? Um, Jessica Bailey, we have another new person here, uh, to our live chat named Jessica Bailey. Thank you so much for coming, Jessica. You're always welcome here. We appreciate you. And Jessica says, is the Ikea card guaranteed approval? Uh, Jessica, no, it's not a guaranteed approval. Um, community bank, uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't remember if they have any guaranteed approval credit cards from Comenity Bank. Uh, but I do know the IKEA Project credit card that Janelle got approved for 
it's not a guaranteed approval thing um, because they do, in fact, do a credit check, a hard pull. Um, I mean, on, on, on Just only one hard pull on Experian. That's what I got. Okay. Um, but, um, no, it's not a guaranteed approval. Uh, you can always check uh, your approval odds to find out what chances you have of getting approved for the IKEA project credit card by going to the IKEA project credit card site. And you can just simply Google that, very easy to do. Uh, just Google, type in in the search bar, search bar um, IKEA project credit card. And project is spelled P-R-O-J-E-K-T. Okay, it's kind of spelled differently than the word project. Okay, you type that into the search bar. It should take, and you can type in pre-qualify, IKEA pre-qualify. I think that's the best way to find the pre-approval or pre-qualified site. And then it lets you know that, you know, this is not a credit card application, that this will not harm your credit score at all. Um, so all you have to do is just, you know, uh, fill out your information there on the online form and then just hit the submit button and it will let you know whether or not you are approved pre-approved you know your chances of approval and uh janelle does it let you know how much you're pre-approved for like credit limit how much you're pre yeah it does it lets you know how much you're pre-approved for yeah. because i me myself I, like I even went on the same uh site that janelle went on to um, and it actually uh, pre-approved me, gave me an offer for an $8,500 credit limit. It gave Janelle a $5,500 credit limit. Uh, but my um, circumstance was different than Janelle's. In my case, um, they told me that they, when I actually applied and tried to get the offer, um, they told me that they will send me, they will, my application is under review they will let me know within two weeks in the mail. So I looked it up on uh, the MyFICO forum, which MyFICO forum is like forums. This is what it says, MyFICO forum, uh, where people discuss different topics. They ask questions about, you know, topics that pertain to credit, right? And a lot of people were talking about um, this IKEA project credit card pre-approval site and uh, one, I think a few people had the same circumstances that I had and said that um, if this says your application is under review, as they told me, um, that it does not mean an automatic denial. So that's, you know, a good, a good thing for me to know. I, I'm just assuming that, you know, because it's a higher credit limit, you know, the $8,500, and um, I, if I were to get that card, that would be my highest credit limit that I have in my name, right? Because my Discover It credit card is a $7,000 credit limit, okay? So maybe that may be the reason why it's under review, okay? Um, so I hope that helped you out somewhat, Jessica. And everyone, if you haven't already, please say hello to Jessica Bailey. Uh, she's joining us from Facebook. Uh, she's a new person here in our live chat, too, also as well. And our live chat is on Facebook. It's on YouTube right now, all at the same time. It's on Twitch. It's on Periscope and Twitter, too, also as well. On Facebook, it's on 14 different platforms, including uh, Facebook groups that we have had for a long time, and also uh, Facebook pages that we've had for a long time also as well. Uh, Janelle says, we're doing ham this time. We decided to skip turkey this year. Yep, we skipped turkey again. Second year in a row, we skipped turkey. Uh, everyone, please say hello to Thomas Anderson, who's joining us once again. Welcome back, Thomas. Uh, Thomas says, amazing. How many cards are you up to now? Um... Well, Janelle, how many cards are you up to? Janelle has the city. I <laughs> Janelle, I know Janelle has the city double cash, double cash card, and now she has the IKEA project credit card, and she has the Target 
red credit, credit card. card. So that's three. And then she has a finger hut credit card uh, to also, I already said Target. So I think she has four. Yeah, yeah. four, right? Credit one. Oh, and she has credit one. Credit one uh, credit card too. So she, so she has five credit cards and three authorized users. And one loan. That's and she has one installment loan from Self Lender. Um, so speaking of which, Self Lender is awesome. I mean, I've had Self Lender for one year, okay? And joined in November, uh, my first payment. And I just made my last payment on the 15th of this month. And I just got an email from Self Lender saying that they have mailed me a check. So they mailed me $1,000. That was the amount of the loan from Self Lender. So I'm, wow, I'm really anticipating this $1,000 check from Self Lender coming in the mail. And by the way, Self Lender has actually boosted my credit score over 95 points since I started uh, my Self Lender in November. Okay, so Self Lender is awesome for credit scores. And by the way, we're going to be making a special live stream video slash topic about my experience with Self Lender after one year. Okay, um, and I hope you guys will enjoy that video too, also as well. So everyone, please say hello to Thomas Henderson if you haven't already. And uh, Thomas says that he got the Chase Sapphire preferred card that he meant to say. Oh, yeah, I kind of missed. I didn't finish your comment there. Uh, OK, it says it sounds like you have gotten a lot this month. I got the CSP this week. Uh, very excited. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that is something to be very excited about. A Chase card is definitely something to be excited about, Thomas, because Chase has a reputation for giving out high credit limits. I believe the Chase Sapphire Reserve credit card can, the maximum credit limit that someone can have is $100,000. So I'm assuming that some people have actually hit the $100,000 credit limit. Uh, with their Chase Sapphire Reserve. And, you know, like I said, Chase is known for giving out very high credit limits. Okay, I believe one of their card, I believe it's the preferred, I believe, I'm not sure if it's the preferred or the freedom, but it has a mandatory $10,000 credit limit. Okay, just to, just to get your foot in the door. So they, you know, if you got a Chase card, um, that is something to be very excited about, and I don't blame you, Thomas, for sure. All righty. Uh, happy Thanksgiving, by the way, Thomas, too, also as well. Tim Williams is back in the house, people. Thank you for joining once again, Tim. Happy Thanksgiving, buddy. Um, and I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving meal, too, also. We'll try to get on tomorrow for our Thanksgiving um, celebration live stream tomorrow and also share some important information uh, with you guys to also as well um, on how you can earn additional cash back. Okay. Um, even without using credit cards, you know, so for some of you who don't have, you know, cash back earning credit cards or points earning credit cards, you can still earn cash back points um, to also as well. Uh, and we're going to get into all of that tomorrow. Okay, special treat for you guys there. Um, I'm just going to give you a preview, a basic preview of it. Um, basically, what we did, right, uh, for those of you who were in Dwayne's live stream on Monday, uh, where we left a comment, I left a comment up there um, in, in a super chat, yeah, and I said that we had earned over 25% back um, you know, um, which was using, just using, um, our city double cash credit card, uh, which was more than what the, Dis our discover it credit card offers the 5% cash back. And of course it's 5% cash back at the end of the year. We also stacked that, that cash back, um, earnings. We stacked it, uh, up with another, um, cash back offer. And which offered an additional uh, nine dollars cash back, but uh, that's with the Discover. <clears throat> but with the City 
card. We stack the 2% cash back with the city double cash. <clears throat> also together with the 20% um, back offer. Also with a $5 cash back offer. Also with a 15% um, cash back offer. We stacked all of those on top of each other. So that's how we were able to earn over 25% um, cash back. You're just using a city double cash card, which beat the pants off of our Discover It credit card. <laughs> okay. Because there was just a limit to how much cash back that we can earn uh, with that Discover It, even after stacking, you know, cash back with other offers. But we're going to get into all of that tomorrow so you don't want to miss out on our special thanksgiving live stream great and if you haven't already please say hello to tim williams uh to also uh by the way and congratulations if you haven't already please say congratulations to thomas henderson he just got approved for the chase sapphire preferred and that is awesome um also as well thomas because that is your foot in the door to chase carts pretty much. I mean, if, if that's your first chase card, congratulations. If it's not your first chase card, also congratulations also as well, because you're um, maybe two steps away from building a an awesome chase trifecta or a chase quadrifecta, however, you know, however you want to build it up, but it does has tremendous value, um, that particular card. Okay. So again, congratulations. And yeah, you're very welcome for the email info, uh, Critical Thinker, uh, too, also as well. No problem. And Janelle says, everyone, please hit the thumbs up. Yes, everyone, please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, it definitely, you know, helps out uh, the channel and helps YouTube to put this uh, live stream in front of more people, too, also as well, so we can help more people, by the way. Okay, so I do want to mention, however, uh, since I have not mentioned it yet, um, that we do have a Patreon. For those of you who don't know about our Patreon, it's um, patreon.com forward slash how to get an 800 credit score. And what this is, is basically our way of helping people, helping people to build credit, helping people to increase their credit scores. Uh, we're helping people to get approved for mortgages, car loans, um, you know, business credit, uh, business loans, lines of credit, helping them travel the world for free, helping them increase their credit scores, helping them get assistance with credit repair uh, too also as well. So all of that in one big, you know, and, you know, different packages that we offer on our Patreon. Okay, so you definitely want to go to our Patreon and check it out. If you're looking for trade lines or authorized users, we have the most affordable authorized users that you can purchase. Uh, we don't charge hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars like some companies do charge. Um, we are, are, you can get an authorized user for as little as $15 or $20, okay? And that, you know, that would have at least one year of credit history or maybe more than one year of credit history to also as well. So if you're new to credit, it can definitely help you boost your credit score up tremendously um, to also as well. We have, you know, a credit card, the Discover It credit card has a high credit limit, has a $7,000 credit limit to also as well. And that is a very affordable um, rate that we are asking, um, you know, for if you want to sign up to be an authorized user on our Discover It credit card that has a $7,000 credit limit, um, you can definitely uh, sign up for, you know, less than less than $40, I would say. Okay. So I, I think this is all a uh, steal, you know, pretty much almost we're giving all of this stuff away. Okay. And we also, on our Patreon, we help uh, people uh, build business credit too also as well. We help them establish business credit, you know, get approved for business cards, uh, loans, lines of credit, all of these things. And also, if you do sign up for our Patreon, you have the benefit of um, seeing um, footage, okay, videos, 
that we make that no subscribers, none of our subscribers can see, okay, unless they become a Patreon member. So these are exclusive uh, videos on several topics ranging from building personal credit, building business credit, you know, um, <clears throat> trade lines, uh, credit repair, you name it, okay, all different topics pertaining to credit, okay? Um, so that's our Patreon link, uh, patreon.com forward slash how to get an 800 credit score. The link is also down inside of the description um, too also as well. And also I do want to mention that uh, I have um, my Discover It uh, referral link. So for anyone who would like to apply for a Discover card, if you don't have one already, or you want to apply for a second Discover credit card, um, you can definitely use uh, our referral link down in the description. And if you, when you do, uh, and you sign up using the referral link, you will get a fifty dollars from Discover, and you know, pretty much, I believe they you can use it as a statement credit um, to us mm -hmm. as well. But it is fifty dollars. I mean, you can't beat that. Okay, so if you sign up for a Discover It card using our referral link down in the description, you will get a fifty dollar uh, statement credit from Discover um, once you are approved for a Discover card. All righty, and we do have one person that did uh, recently uh, this week who had signed up for a Discover card using our referral link. We don't know who that person is because it would not Discover will not tell us. But we want to say thank you so much to whoever you are that signed up using our referral link. We really appreciate you. Thank you for using our referral link. And we hope you enjoy your Discover It card uh, too also as well. Okay, so I'm going to jump right back here into the comments right where I had left off at. So I just got a scroll, a lot of scrolling to do here. Got to scroll through and uh oh. I hope I did not lose my place. Okay, um, bear with me, guys. I'm trying to um, find out where exactly where I had left off at. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, Janelle said, uh, everyone, please hit the thumbs up button. Yes, everyone, yeah, please. Uh, hit the thumbs up button too also as well. <clears throat> Janelle said 11 people uh, was in here and only two thumbs up. Yeah, earlier. guys, I hit the thumbs up. I know that was earlier. Janelle had said that. And Tim Williams said, I predict Apple Card or Goldman Sachs would have tons of charge-offs. <laughs> I, I, I believe so too, Tim, because they pissed off a lot of people who were uh, – who had applied to the Apple card, um, people who are trying to build credit, okay? For the people who are not trying to build credit and just, you know, signed up for the Apple card because of the benefits that the Apple card offers, like the cash back and the other, you know, benefits that it offers for Apple customers, um, great. You know, those people may not be too upset about it, but uh, for the people who are trying to build credit, <clears throat> you know, a lot of them are pretty pissed off. And I hope a lot of these people, you know, um, well, just, just, just think of it this way, right? If the Apple credit card is not reporting to anyone's credit bureaus and um, say all of these people that signed up for the Apple credit card tomorrow, all of a sudden they're pissed off. The Apple card did not report to their credit reports and they close the card. They call up Apple or Goldman Sachs or whatever, and they close their account, close out the card. Um, if Apple continues to not report to the credit bureaus, then it will be no harm done just to close out the account because it's not reporting to the credit bureaus anyways, right? So it won't show up on your credit report that you close the card. But here's the other thing. Even if it does report to the credit bureau, it, it probably won't um, affect your credit score either way, either way, because I, I mean, it, it's a new account. It's a brand new account. And normally when you close a brand new account, um, unless the credit limit, um, does not benefit 
um, your uh, credit score or lower your credit utilization, then it doesn't matter if you close out that card because it's a brand new account. It doesn't have any age yet. Okay, maybe one month old, two months, three months. You know, it doesn't really have any real age yet. So it, it will not, that's the good news. It, it should not affect your credit score unless you're depending on that credit limit to lower your utilization. And everyone, please welcome back David Amex King Moss. Thank you for joining us, David. Really appreciate that. Everyone, yeah, David has his own YouTube channel. It's called David Amex King Moss. Um, you definitely want to check out his channel. He makes lots of videos about how to earn points and miles, how to travel for free. And he's <laughs> actually out there doing it right now. You know, he's traveling from state to state all over the United States, you know, um, getting special reservations and, you know, quality ho hotels. And he's doing all of this for almost for free. You know, he's getting free nights and, and, um, you know, high upper tiered hotels. So you definitely want to check out uh, his channel, David Amex King Moss, and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you won't miss any of his videos that he makes there on his channel um, too also as well. I know David said he cannot stay long. He's at a dinner work appointment in Seattle, but he's leaving a like. I really appreciate that, David. If you haven't already, guys, please say hello to David Amex King Moss uh, too also as well. Happy Thanksgiving, David. We really appreciate you, um, too, also. And I believe Critical Thinker has a question. He said he tuned in late. Is the IKEA card closed lop or open loop? Okay, what is lo closed lop or open loop? I don't understand the question, Critical. If you could, like, clarify in the comments, really would appreciate that. Two also as well. Um, Allison Jean McCoon is back once again, I believe. Oh, this is her first time in our live stream. I know I do. I, I know you, Allison, from either being one of my Facebook friends or being in one of our Facebook groups or Facebook pages. But thank you so much for joining us from Facebook there, Allison. Uh, she says she's doing a sound check. Well, I believe the sound the sound is okay because if it wasn't, I'm sure a lot of you um, who are in here in the live chat would have definitely let me know, hey, no audio or something like that. But thank you so much for joining us, Allison. I really appreciate that. And also, if you're joining us from Facebook, do leave a comment. Leave a comment and let me know what Facebook group or what Facebook page you're joining us from too also. By the way, if you're joining us from Twitter or Periscope or Twitch, just let me know here. I'm joining from Periscope or joining from Twitter or I'm, I'm here on a live stream from, from Twitch. Definitely let me know so that way we can um, know uh, where our participants are from. Uh, too, also as well. But thank you so much for joining us, Allison. We really appreciate you. And happy Thanksgiving, Allison. I hope you enjoy your, you know, holiday festivities, too, also as well. So everyone, if you haven't already, please say hello to Allison Jean McCoon. Also, Zach Taylor is here. And Zach Taylor is also a new person here in our live stream. So everyone, please say hello to Zach Taylor. Appreciate you joining, Zach. And let's see, <clears throat> Janelle says, in terms of being a fully circular closed loop business, Ikea still has a long way to go. However, the fact that the brand is so consistently rolling out new initiatives to bring itself closer to that goal is exciting and shows that achieving it is an actual possibility. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, thank you for answering that question, uh, yeah, Janelle. I really appreciate that. Find out. Yeah, that Janelle had to Google that question. to find out because that was an uh, an awesome question there, Critical Thinker, for sure. Appreciate that question. It's just we just didn't know. That's one thing. I'm I'm totally honest. If I don't know an answer to a question, I'm just gonna say, hey, I don't know. Mm. You know. But thanks for that question. Really appreciate that. Um, yeah, thank you for saying. Happy Thanksgiving to Zach Taylor. If you haven't already, people, please say hello to Zach Taylor. He is one of our new people here in our live stream. And also, please say hello to Allison McCoon, if you haven't already. 
too, also as well. Jakari Pikes is back once again. Thank you so much for joining us in another live chat. Jakari, I appreciate you and happy Thanksgiving to you. Jakari, um, new subscriber. I will join Patreon soon to sign up for the City Double Cash authorized user. Yes, we appreciate that so much, uh, Jakari. And yeah, you, you know, you should enjoy um, that benefit too, also as well. And remember that you get exclusive videos that come with that too, also as well. Because when you sign up and become a Patreon member, you also get exclusive videos that uh, we do not share on our YouTube channel at all, okay, or on Facebook or any other social media. These videos are special videos just for you guys, our Patreon members, uh, to show you guys that we really appreciate you uh, supporting our channel and being a part of our Patreon. So if you haven't already, people, please say hello to Jakari Pikes as well. Thank you so much and welcome, Jakari. Who says happy holidays to everyone? Yes, yes. Enjoy your Thanksgiving, Jakari, too, also as well. We're going to try to do a special Thanksgiving live stream tomorrow, so you can definitely join us. You know, we know all of you are, we consider you guys our family, uh, so we welcome you to join our Thanksgiving live stream dinner tomorrow. Uh, well, we will have a topic. You know, most of the times we do have a topic for our live stream. We try to have a topic all the time. Okay. We try not to just do the, um, you know, question and answer only thing, um, you know, uh, in a live stream because I know a lot of our subscribers and our viewers, they like to actual, actually see actual content, right? They like to they like to come to our channel for actual content, actual, you know, topic, an actual thing uh, for us to talk about, you know, and discuss. So that's why we try to have a topic every time we do a live stream. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So if you haven't already, please say hello to Jakari Pikes and also Allison Jean McCoon, who is joining us from Facebook. And also, Allison, let us know what Facebook group or what Facebook page you're joining us from. Uh, so that way we can keep track of um, where we're getting participation from, you know, which group we're getting participations from, what pages and what groups and pages we don't, we're not getting any participation from. Uh, Janelle says, uh, hello and welcome to all of our new subscribers to our credit families and happy Thanksgiving to you all as well. Uh, Jakari Pike says, I really want that city and freedom card, but I'm going to go for the chase first because of the 524 rule, but I'm afraid I'm not going to get approved due to too many inquiries from when I purchased a car. Yeah. Um, Jakari, they have a rule. The credit bureaus, I believe they have a rule for, um, shopping for an auto loan. Um, and I can, you know, discuss that with you in further detail. But I do know um, Chase does have a 524 rule, so it may that may be a good thing, you know, to um, go after the Chase cards first. But you want to do that strategically, you know what I mean? Depending on what your credit profile looks like, I don't know because I haven't, you know, seen your credit profile yet. But to, like I said, depending on what your credit profile looks like, or basically your credit history like what your credit history is. You said you had some inquiries on there. Um, and how many accounts do you have open within the last 24 months? You know, all of that Chase looks at uh, too as well. Uh, you know, when they consider you for a Chase credit card and your credit score too as well. Uh, they consider all of those factors uh, when they look to approve you you know, consider you for approval for a Chase credit card too also as well. But I do know of people, um, you know, some of our subscribers actually got approved for their first Chase credit card, um, you know, and, you know, some of them can definitely um, share their experience with that with you too also as well. Uh, I believe Pink Lady, Pink Lady, uh, didn't you get approved for a Chase card? Uh, let me know. I could be mistaken. I could be thinking about somebody else, but I thought it was you, Pink Lady. So 
if you care to share your experience um, with your approval for, I believe it was the Chase Freedom card you got approved for, let us know for sure. And that way, Jakari, you know, you can help Jakari out a little bit too, as I'm trying to help her uh, too, also as well. So let's see, but I, as far as hard inquiries go, Jakari, they stay on your credit report for two years, right? But some credit card issuers will only look at the inquiries that you have on your credit report within the last year, like Discover. Discover, um, I believe, uh, American Express also will look at how many hard inquiries you have within the last year. Um, and, you know, they look, they look at that for approval, for whether or not they want to approve you for one of their uh, credit cards. But the um, heart inquiries, they do, in fact, affect your credit score. They lower your credit score for up to one year, okay? So it's basically that means that the credit bureaus, they take away points uh, from your credit score because of these hard inquiries, but for only for one year, okay? So after one year... Um, basically, when each of those hard inquiries uh, become 13 months old, uh, then they basically return all of the points that you lost for having those hard inquiries in the first place. So that's the simplest way I could basically explain that. Um, so Harding, that's why a lot of people say, hey, don't worry too much about hard inquiries, <laughs> you know, because they only affect you for one year, you know, and things of that nature. And that's the reason why they say that. Uh, but for some other people, one year is a long time <laughs> to wait uh, for these hard inquiries to wear off, you know. Uh, but um, that is good news on that. So as far as that is concerned, it's something to look forward to, you know, as especially me, I'm looking forward to that too also as well, because a lot of the majority of the hard inquiries that I have um, on all three credit bureaus, they are, most of them are over one year old. And I noticed my credit score started going up as each hard inquiry became, you know, 13 months old. Um, and as a matter of fact, uh, as of January, um, I should have only two hard inquiries that affect my TransUnion credit score and only two hard inquiries that affect my Experian and my Equifax. So I should have two hard inquiries affecting my credit score from each uh, credit bureau. So which is not bad uh, for me because in January... You know, say if I want to apply for another credit, a new credit card in January, which I probably will because I just got the Discovery card a few weeks ago. I got that approval. So I want to may, wait at least maybe two or three months before I apply for my next card. Um, but next time I apply, I'll only have like two hard inquiries, on whatever credit bureau they want to pull from, you know, within the last year. So that's um, a good news for me. It actually increases my approval odds, and actually it also improve increases whatever credit the credit limit, the amount of credit limit that I can get approved for in January will be higher than you know whatever credit limit I could get approved for now. And I noticed that I, I'm getting approved for higher credit limits now. So. I guess that's, right. you know, good news. I got some other things in the workings. Like I I, I just recently um, applied to Navy Federal Credit Union um, to also as well. And um, I'm waiting for an answer from Navy Federal Credit Union uh, regarding my membership. And, you know, hopefully that can open some doors for me to get into Navy Federal because I'm really looking at some of those Navy Federal credit cards. Like I want some of those for sure. <laughs> Pink lady. Pink lady says, uh, I'm the cast back King. LOL. <laughs> well, you know, I guess you, you kind of become the cash back King or the cash back queen, you know, especially in this stage of building credit, you know, because 
I we don't travel, right? We don't travel at all. Um, <clears throat> one of our subscribers had recommended, actually, David Amex King Moss, he recommended that we should start traveling. And we do want to start traveling. We want to go to New York next year, and we want to go to Arizona next year. And I believe we're also going to try to go to either Switzerland or Sweden. We're not sure which one, uh, but we do want to plan it out very carefully because we want to, you know, have some good footage. We want to have make some good, some great video um, when we do go to Sweden or Switzerland uh, to also as well uh, for the channel. So you guys can see what it's like in Switzerland, you know, or Sweden. Um, and we'll share with you, you know, um, how we used uh, travel rewards and points and everything uh, to get there. Our goal is to get there for free. That's our goal for free. We don't want to pay any money out of our pocket. We want to go to either Switzerland or Sweden or maybe both of them 100% free. That's our goal. Okay. Crossing our fingers there on that one. <laughs> but for right now, yeah, we're the cash, cash back king and queens over here. So you definitely can hit us up if you have any questions about earning cash back or you know, even travel points or rewards, you know, we can help you guys with some of those questions too, if you have any. Uh, Janelle says again, people, please hit the thumbs up button uh, for sure. If you're looking for ways to support the channel, we definitely want to say thank you so much to all of you guys who have sent super chats. Um, last Wednesday's live stream that we had, um, we can't thank you guys enough. We really appreciate that because you know, Janelle had an awesome birthday uh, last week, Wednesday, and the super chats were definitely well appreciated. And we thank you guys so much for the super chats. And by the way, uh, we also want to thank Ronald Anderson for his $25 um, cash back, uh, cash app donation. The cash app, um, where he donated through the cash app. And that's a way we have for people, if you're watching this video on a replay, you could definitely donate to the channel through the cash app. Uh, and you would just um, enter in my screen, my username is dollar sign Lyndon Baptiste. And that link is also inside of the description of this video too also as well. Uh, so if you're watching this on a replay, that's a way you can support the channel. Uh, another way you can support the channel is just simply watch all of the commercials. And we put a few commercials here in every single live stream and video. Um, that's a great way to support our channel too as well, uh, just by watching all of the commercials, okay? But thank you guys for all your support. Really appreciate uh, you guys also as well. Uh, so let's see. I hope I did not lose my place in the comments. No, I didn't. I think I'm like way behind, like Janelle said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Congratulations, Thomas. That's awesome. Awesome. That, that's definitely uh, good stuff. And Janelle says she gets more cash back than I do. Yeah, she does because we're really not using the Discover It card. Um, that much, especially now that we found out about this secret to beat the, our Discover It card in cash back by just using our city double cash, okay, which is really a secret because we didn't we really didn't know about this, but we're going to share the secret with you in tomorrow's live stream and our special Thanksgiving celebration live stream. Yeah, the cat. And Pink Lady says, Cashback Queen. Yes, Janelle is the Cashback Queen. More. For sure. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, as we find out all this information, and this is a lot of secret information that a lot of people, they don't share on YouTube. Uh, YouTube channels that talk about credit and stuff, they don't share, you know, a lot of this um, information too also as well, but we're going to share it on our channel. So that way you guys can know, you know, man, and, and, and for people who do not have a cash back credit card, you know, so that, so that way you guys don't feel left out too. So that way you guys can also earn cash back too also as well. 
Okay. Um, Janelle wants to know, is everybody ready for Thanksgiving tomorrow? I hope everybody is ready. Hope you guys got no. your turkey out <laughs> ready. Maybe your turkeys might be cooking already. Um, you know, maybe you got all your stuff together. But yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Uh Thanksgiving. We're looking, <laughs> we're very excited about the holiday too, also as well. Mr. Chocolatasso, welcome back, buddy. Mr. Chocolatasso, thank you so much for joining us once again. We, we miss you, buddy. Yeah, Janelle said you're in Florida right now. Family. Um, uh, for a family visit. That's awesome. Awesome there, um, Louis. Um, and we really appreciate you joining us. Happy Thanksgiving, Louis. And everyone, if you haven't already, please say hello to Mr. Chocolatasso. Uh, who's checking in from Florida? Curtis Davis says, hey, yes, happy Thanksgiving, Curtis. Welcome back uh, to the live stream once again, Curtis. We really appreciate you. Happy Thanksgiving. If you haven't already, people, please say hello to Curtis Davis. Mr. Taco Tazo says happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Uh, to also uh, Gary. Gary Bluen says regarding the closed loop or open loop, I think he meant closed loop. The IKEA card will be closed loop. Only can be used at IKEA. Okay, so that's what um, he meant by closed and open loop. Yeah, it can only be used at IKEA. The IKEA they do have another um, credit card. I believe. I believe they do have like a Visa or a Mastercard credit I card. Put it down there. Too, they do right. I put it down they there. have a Visa yeah, Mastercard that, and that card can be used. At other places besides only the no, IKEA I, I put it on there. store. Okay. All right, and Janelle, she did put that comment inside of the comments too, also as well about that card. Uh, so, if anyone had any questions, I believe Critical Thinker you had a question about that. So, Janelle did put that um, answer to that question inside of the comments too, also as well. Yeah, the IKEA Visa card. Um, Curtis says, what do you think about cards with late payments? Should keep close card or I should keep it, it, close the card or make payments to age out late payments? Thanks. Okay. I've been working. Okay. Well, he had it for 13 years. Who? Who are you talking about? Curtis you know? David. Oh, Curtis? Yeah. And he had seven, seven payment and... 13. Okay, so uh, Janelle said it's something about you had seven missed payments in 13 years. Um, I would not close out that card. That card could be detrimental to you if you close that card out. Okay, it can harm you. Your... Right here. It, it, okay, uh, let me see. I'm, I'm jumping ahead in the comments. Thanks to Janelle. Um, I'm reading a comment that you made here, uh, Curtis, even though I'm not up to that comment yet, but it says here. The infamous Capital One, so oldest card of $2,500 with $190 balance. Is that the card? Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah. basically, um, Curtis, you, you, you don't want to close that card. I mean, especially if you had that card for that, like 17 years, as Janelle is telling me. Um, that's a long time. Okay. Yeah. Keep the card open. What'd you say, Janelle? 17 years, right? 17 yeah, you said 17 years, Janelle. I think you said 17. Okay, Janelle says 17 years. I'm just making sure I have the right information here. Um, so if, if it's been that long since you had the card, Curtis, don't close that card. I mean, even if you had late payments um, on the card, okay, um, I, I mean, if, even if you close it, it's not going to erase the late payments, okay, uh, because a late payment is considered a derogatory mark, right? And a late payment could stay on your credit report for seven years. No matter, even if you close it out, okay, it's still going to be, it's not going anywhere. Just like if, like, say if you had no late payments at all, I'm just giving you the reverse um, um, scenario, right? Say if you had no late payments at all, and you still had the card for 17 years, et cetera, et cetera. You close the card out, Okay. It can still stay on your credit report for 10 years because it has positive payment history, right? And although that card has seven late payments on it, it, it does have positive payment history because you have seven late payments out of 
what, 17 years times 12, 17 times 12. I don't really have my calculator in front of me here, but I know that's a lot of, uh, that's, that's a lot of payments there, uh, Curtis. I'm just going to check that out because I'm out of curiosity. You know what I mean? I just want to know 17 years, right? Times 12 payments per year. That's, uh, according to my calculator here, that's 200 and four payments, right? 204 payments. That's a lot of payments. Okay. So you had seven late payments. So if you minus seven late payments, then you have 197 positive payments, which positive payment history. Okay. So that's 197 payments. So that's a lot of payments. So I would suggest do not close off that card at all. Okay. Um, and if the late payments, yeah, you said you had a, the car for 17 years. So if those late payments were like over seven years ago, I wouldn't even worry about that. You know what I mean? Um, cause it, it's on your credit report, um, because it has a lot of payment history. Good. It has a lot of good payment history. What's that? You can try to dispute it now if you want to. Right? You can try to dispute it. Um, if you want to, but depending on how old it is, it may be a little late, you know, in the process to dispute it, but you can definitely, it doesn't, you only have $190 doesn't to pay or... hurt anything. And Janelle said you only have 190, $190 dollars balance. Um, yeah, you can pay that off. Um, just, uh, you should know your due date by now. Just, you know, pay the card off. You know what I mean? Keep the card. You know, if you don't want to use the card, then what you do, you can put it in a sock drawer or something, and then every three months make a small payment on a card. But 17 years, that's a lot of credit history to just want to throw away like that. You know what I mean? That That's affecting your credit score, too. That's a huge chunk of your credit score. <coughs> okay? So I would say keep the card. Okay? Uh, let's see what, okay. Um, Mr. Chacotazo is in Florida people and he says he's enjoying himself. He says Florida is great. He's enjoying his time with his family yep. uh, too. And I hope you enjoying the Thanksgiving festivities over there in Florida. Happy Thanksgiving Lewis too also as well. Hope you and your family enjoy the holiday. <coughs> Janelle says the Ikea visa credit card. <coughs> is a credit card that can be used at Ikea and anywhere else Visa is accepted. If you are approved, you'll earn 5% back in rewards on Ikea USA purchases and 3% and, the more down for the and 3% in rewards on dining, groceries, and utility purchases. And 1% back in rewards anywhere else you use the IKEA Visa credit card. Wow. Yeah, that's um that's awesome there, you know. I'm glad you shared that with us. Um, so basically you're getting three percent back on dining. So that's huge. That's huge. Three percent on dining people. That's that's awesome. I mean, if you get approved for that um ikea visa credit card that's a lot that's that's pretty good amount of cash back there three percent okay especially on dining i know the american express gold card gives four times points on dining uh which is awesome and there are some few other credit cards that um gives great rewards you know points and cash back on dining too also as well so that is great if you like to eat out a lot, it's a good card. You know what I mean? As far as Janelle and I, we don't, we don't hardly ever eat out that much, you know? So Dude, these type of cards out. that offer, you know, cash back and points on dining are really not useful to us. We only order like once or twice a month. We probably order maybe once or twice a month, if that. And some months we don't even order out at all. You know, but as far as grocery and utility purchases, that's awesome there to earn cash back on that. Now, that can definitely benefit us, you know, to get cash back on grocery and utility purchases, too, also as well. But we found a secret way, 
okay, that we're going to share with you guys tomorrow in our special Thanksgiving Day celebration live stream. So you want to join us, people, for Thanksgiving dinner. You have Thanksgiving dinner with us on our channel in our live stream, uh, too, also as well. Okay, we'll even try to put the turkey through the camera if we can. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't turkey? know. Ham. Uh, oh, that's right, ham. We're having ham. If We're you having ham. ham. It, you know, it's not. If any of you guys uh, want to come on as a guest or anything, definitely let me know. The invitation no, is please. definitely out there for sure. If you guys want to come on. As a guest here in the live chat, either now, if you guys want to come on now as a guest, you can. Or if you want to come on tomorrow for a Thanksgiving celebration, you can too also as well. Uh, just keep in mind, if you want to come on tomorrow, we'll be talking about cash back. Okay, so be prepared to talk about cash back if you come on as a guest here tomorrow. Okay. Um... Janelle, Janelle says, how many late payments and do you still use the card? Okay, yeah. Uh, so you're talking about 2016. Okay, so basically that was three years ago. Okay, so those late payments are starting to age. So basically late payments, I believe, just like collections, the older they become, the less of an effect they have on your credit scores. Okay, so if it's now three years in, um, after after that, they should start having less and less of an effect on your credit score until they almost have almost a zero effect on your credit score once it you know ages a certain amount. So I, that's another reason I believe that you should keep the card. Curtis, uh, because if you think about it, you know, in another four years, those late payments can't cannot harm your score at all. They cannot be calculated into your credit score calculations anymore. Okay. The only thing that can still be calculated into your credit score calculations for that particular credit card is your positive payment history, which stays on your credit report for 10 years. You okay. <laughs> yeah, Janelle's reminding me that I'm running behind. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to yeah. hurry it up here. Gary says, have yet to see Bridget or Panda. I think they may be eating the ham. Nope. Uh, <laughs> no. That's why I put it. She's uh, back there in her corner. Yeah. Uh, Panda's right in her right here. corner. Panda. Oh, Panda's over here next to, I already put it on there. Next to me. Uh, Janelle her just... Put her up there on the screen. Uh, Janelle just put um, Panda up right there. Here. Oh, yeah. Panda's there hiding over there under the That's TV. Bridget. That's Bridget. That's Bridget under the TV. Okay. Um, Pink Lady is talking about auto correct from. Okay, from. Okay. All right. Um, Shikari saying that it's true. Chase does pull from experiment. That his wife had applied. Okay. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. Really appreciate that. And uh, Curtis says, infamous Capital One. So oldest card of $2,500 with $190 balance. Yep. What? I would say just pay that off as soon as you can there, Curtis. That would be the best thing to do. Okay. And let's see. Yep. Janelle's reminded, yeah, Bridget is there. Panda is laying down next to us on the couch with Janelle. Uh, Curtis is saying, do not use the card. Yeah, we don't plan on using um, the IKEA card. I mean, because we don't have um, any use for it, the card, really, right now, because we don't the IKEA card. plan on buying yeah. any furniture or anything like that no lamps no chairs no, I only want nothing to build my credit. with the card janelle's only using it to build her credit and build her credit score and build her credit profile okay mm -hmm. because the five thousand five hundred dollar credit limit is awesome is awesome to have on your <laughs> credit report okay and you could just imagine in the future if ikea decides to give her some credit limits, how high that credit limit on that card can go. And get the actual credit card from them. 
Okay, and she's talking about getting the actual IKEA Visa credit card from them too, uh, because that can be used um, outside of IKEA. It's open loop, so and that has awesome cash back benefits too, as well. I got too many inquiries. Critical thinker it. says, Lyndon, the problem with inquiries is discipline. I agree. Uh, because you might have intentions to garden for a while, but you are constantly getting offers that are tempting. Yeah. yeah um, so basically, you know, our goals are not to wait on chase cards anymore. We that what that used to be a goal of ours, but that has all changed wait, uh, because we have found that we are missing out on a lot of money here by waiting on Chase. Okay. Missing and what Chase has to rewards. offer. We're missing a lot of cashback rewards. We're missing even rewards points, travel points. And too, um, I needed so to work much on my profile. And we're missing out, you know, and Janelle can work on her profile, her credit profile too, also. You know, she can build that up too as well, you know, in the meantime. So you know, our plan has changed. You know, right now we're planning to, you know, apply to whatever we're offered, you know, whatever credit uh, cards that we are offered. And um, we're trying to get all of the credit cards that we want to get before Chase. And we'll put Chase last because, you know, it, we don't see how it's beneficial to us to wait for Chase, you know, when for one, we don't travel a lot. Okay, for two, uh, whatever Chase is offering, we can get from other credit cards and still build our credit profile at the same time. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> so, you know, when we're ready for Chase, we will go after Chase. But we're not in the garden anymore. Uh, the garden is still there, but we're not in it, right? We're now out of the garden. So... We are okay. Um, Pink Lady saying they landed on her transunion. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, hard inquiries they do depend on where you live, um, too, also as well. Uh, so it, it goes by you know, state what state you're in, you know. Um, that would determine what credit bureau they're gonna pull from, okay. So even though someone may have, uh, like say Janelle, Janelle had uh, her credit report pulled from Experian, right? Experian um, for her IKEA credit card, but yeah, just in Experian, you know the City Double Cash card pulled from Experian and Equifax, right? But uh, she lives in South Dakota. You know we live in South Dakota, so for somebody who may be in another state. Um, those credit card issuers may pull from a totally different credit bureau because you live in another state, right? Uh, but what you can do, what I found is very helpful is a website called Credit Boards, creditboards.com. You can go on Credit Boards and there's tons and tons of information there about credit card issuers, banks, lenders, and where they pull the uh, credit reports from, what credit bureaus they pull from, depending on what state, by state, okay? They go by state, they go by credit card issuer. Um, so there's tons of information. You can find out information about where a particular credit card issuer pulls from. Um, if that's the information that you're looking to get. Okay, this is how I build my credit. <laughs> nah. uh, so Janelle has a little wallet set up on how she's building her credit. Well, this is awesome. I think this is awesome, you know? Yeah. Maybe yeah. we'll do a uh, What's in My Wallet video. We'll save that for a What's in My Wallet video for Janelle and I in the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for giving us another uh, video idea there, Janelle. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Mr. Chakotato. Okay. okay, Curtis says, cute cat. Thank you for saying yeah, that, Curtis. And Mr. Chacotato Tazo says Navy Federal is great. I know we've been hearing that a lot from so many different people, and hopefully I'll be getting into Navy Federal soon. Okay. Gary Bluen oh, says hi. You to comment. Hold on, hold on, hold Thank on. you so much for sharing that, Gary. Janelle said I missed a comment from who? Yeah, I'm you made Pink Lady comment because you asked her a question about the credit card case. 
Oh, did I? I missed Pink Lady. Did I miss your comment about the Chase car? I didn't get to her she, uh, her uh, comment yet. Um, you know, I'm I'm still I'm all the way here. I'm at uh, it's right here. Oh Pink my lady. God. I'm at Curtis Davis. Curtis Davis says uh, Navy is the best. Pink Lady says I agree. Navy is great. Janelle says, I'm not going to use the Ikea car. I just wanted to have good credit score and build my credit history. Okay, Janelle says, her, thank no, you no, so no, much, bro, for the super chat. You asked her a question about Chase. Okay, autocorrect. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, I'm going to read that. Uh, she mentioned on the very bottom, you missed her comment. Yeah, I, I did. I did. I missed your comment. Sorry about that, uh, pink lady. I'm going to back up here, and that way I can get to your comment. Okay, you said auto correct. Okay, and then it was Gary blowing before that. And then, oh, I, for some reason, I don't see it here on my screen. Yeah, it's not showing. Uh, it's not showing on my screen at all. But I will read the comment out loud so everyone can hear what Pink Lady said if you haven't already read it. And Pink Lady says that Lyndon, because it's showing up on Janelle's phone, but for some reason it's not showing up here in Everybody my comments can. here, uh, which I'll have to be talking to technical support about that one because it's kind of not showing me all of the comments. Pink Lady said, I do have the Chase Freedom Unlimited. They pulled from Experian and TransUnion. I only had three inquiries at the time. Yeah, that's that's totally awesome. I, I remember when you got, you know, when you got the card and you just telling us about it. That's an awesome card there. I remember you telling us about that card there, uh, Pink Lady. Um, that, that card is just awesome. You know, it's it's a good experience to, um, you know, get a be, become a part of the Chase ecosystem. Oh, uh, you know, to get your foot in the door with Chase is definitely a good thing. It's a good look for sure. Uh, Mr. Chakotasso said, I almost said the secret. Okay. I don't and know Janelle <laughs> says, thank you so much, for bro, for the super chat at Curtis David. Yeah, thank you so much for the $2 super chat, uh, Curtis. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much good for... Content. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and I believe you said good content, so thank you so much uh, for saying that. Appreciate that, Curtis, uh, for sure. Uh, Cakeology is in the building, people. Yes, Bob, we missed you, man. We haven't seen you in our live stream for a long time, bro. Uh, where you been, man? You know, we've been looking for you. Yeah, so Bob is back, people, back in the building. And uh, he he uh, helps a lot of people build business credit, including me. He's working with me, too, <coughs> also as well. And by the way, I'm going to be making some progress videos. So that way I will be taking you guys step by step through the business credit building pro process uh, with me as Bob is working together with me, you know, helping me build business credit for how to get an 800 credit score LLC, okay? So our YouTube channel is officially a business now. It is not only the YouTube channel, how to get an 800 credit score, it is an actual business, uh, how to get an 800 credit score LLC, okay? Um, so we will be doing videos, maybe live streams too also, uh, with special topics on each step that I've taken to build my business credit and also each step that I've taken with Bob uh, to build business credit uh, to also as well for how to get an 800 credit score LLC and also for another company that I have. It's an S corporation. It's not an LLC. It's called Nurse Providers Incorporated, which is an S corporation um, that I haven't really been doing anything with. Um, but 
we do plan on doing something with it in the future. But right now, we just don't have the time for nurse providers incorporated because we are working on how to get an 800 credit score LLC. And I have a full-time job too also as well that goes along with that. So I just don't have the time for the other company, Nurse Providers Incorporated, right now at the moment. But we will be biz building business credit for our Nurse Providers Incorporated, our other company uh, as well. You know, So that way when we are ready uh, to take off with the company, Nurse Providers LLC, I mean, Nurse Providers uh, Incorporated, then we'll have, you know, credit lines in place. We'll have, you know, plenty of uh, credit cards uh, if we need them to fall back on or whatever we would need will be in place. But anyway, by the way, if you're interested in building business credit too also as well, uh, Bob is a business coach. You can definitely see him. Uh, his YouTube channel is called Cakeology. Um <clears throat> Click on his name here in the channel, Cakeology. Go to his channel, hit the subscribe button, and make sure that you hit the bell for notifications so that way you will never miss a single video as Bob makes them on his channel um, too also as well. And if you're interested in um, signing up with Bob's business coaching, you could definitely see me. I will definitely you know, uh, refer you to Bob for sure. Uh, I'll get you guys linked up to also as well. Um, and, um, that way you can get the ball rolling and building business credit for your business too, also as well, because every business needs business credit unless you're a billionaire, right? But even if you're a billionaire, uh, millionaires and the wealthy people, they still use credit, believe it or not. Okay. Uh, Curtis Davis says, trying to be great this year. Green bean casserole. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Oh, happy Thanksgiving, Bob, by the way. Hope you're enjoying the festivities. Have a happy uh, holidays this year. Uh, Janelle says, we're just doing ham this year with few side dishes and spicy cream cheese cake that she made today. Ooh. We wow, I can't wait for dinner. You know, guys, I haven't even eat, eaten dinner yet. I did not eat dinner today. Um, because I was like, you know, I was so busy, you know, getting preparing the live stream uh, for you guys getting all the content um, together. So, by the way, if you guys missed uh, the topic of today's live stream, the content topic, um, you definitely can catch it on the replay. It's in the beginning, I believe it's in the first, um. <coughs> It's in the first 15, uh, 17 minutes of this live stream. That's the topic, okay, which uh, that's what we're doing from now on. In case you guys uh, haven't been here in a while, um, that's part of the new changes that we made here on the channel. We give you guys the topic first, and then we get into the comments and the questions and recognize people, everything like that. Um, it's Better that way, we believe, for especially people that are watching this live stream or our live streams on the replay, um, you know, they can get the full um, gist, uh, gist of the topic of what we're talking about, the content. Um, you know, you can get that first, and then if they decide to stay on and, you know, um, watch uh, some of the comments and questions and some of the answers that we give to the questions, um, then they're free to do so, you know? And also, they're also free if they decide that they just want to leave after the topic, then they can do so there also as well. But either way, they're going to get a lot of value just watching our live streams, okay? Um, so that's one reason that we made that change. Another reason is because we don't want people to wait 20 minutes or 30 minutes or an hour just for us to get to the topic. Okay. A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people will just leave the video if we haven't gotten to the topic like right away. Okay. Um, so that that's another reason why we decided to do it this way. And we pretty much believe we're going to stick to this, uh, this structure uh, from now on. 
Wow. Yeah, Curtis says that sounds delicious. Yeah, that does sound delicious for sure. Welcome back again. Oh, Aunt Stan is in the building once again. Uh, Aunt Stan says, uh, pay it off. It will give you 23 points. Yeah, awesome, awesome. I believe it's going to give you probably around that much, that oh. many points too as well, uh, Curtis. So yeah, yeah, pay off that $190. I mean, that's not a big, it's not a, a, a huge amount, you know, pay that off. Get it out the way. Get those points back. Add it to your credit score again. Okay. Great way to boost your credit score up. You for sure. And Stan says, "Happy Thanksgiving to Janelle and Lyndon." Yeah, thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving, and and if you haven't already, people, please say hello to Aunt Stan. Welcome back, Aunt. Pleasure to have you on. And Janelle says. Um, yeah, it's good to see you getting it paid off. Yes, for sure. That's, you know, it's always a good thing to, you know, pay off your credit cards because they will keep your credit score down. That balance is definitely can keep. Remember, guys, I mean, credit card utilization, it, it, credit usage accounts for 35 percent. Well, 30, 30 percent of your credit score. OK, it's the second highest scoring factor that's being used by FICO scoring model, okay? And FICO scoring model is most widely used. Keyword, most, okay? Not all lenders use FICO, but most lenders use FICO, okay? And the ones that use Vantage, the Vantage scoring system, uh, they still consider uh, credit usage to be a priority uh, to also as well. Actually, it's a higher priority on the Vantage scoring system than it is on the FICO scoring system. Okay. Um, and in case you missed that video where we broke down the differences between FICO and Vantage and how they calculate the credit scoring uh, of your credit score, uh, you definitely want to check out that video here on this channel. Um, it's, a, you know, it's about the differences between the FICO and, and the Vantage credit scores and why your Vantage score is different from your FICO score for those of you who have noticed the difference there, okay? But there is a breakdown about that and the percentages are different, um, comparable between the FICO and the Vantage scoring system, okay? Some things FICO holds as a higher priority than Vantage and vice versa, okay? Some things, um, uh, they consider uh, more, they, they, they hold harsher or they treat harsher uh, than other categories, okay? And one is more late mortgage payments. Um, so that's a video you guys definitely want to check out if you haven't seen that already. Many people has asked that question time and time and again. So if you have that question, there's many answers in that video. Check it out. Yeah, thank you for saying that, uh, Janelle. Yeah, everyone, hit the thumbs up button. We need to get our thumbs up. We need to get our likes up here. You know what I mean? Definitely need to get our likes up. I think um, the highest amount of likes we got recently uh, was 30-something. I believe it was 35 or 36 likes. Um, so this time we want to beat that. We, we want at least 40 likes, people. At least We want at least 40 likes today. Uh, so anyway, I do want to recognize oh. a super chat, a super chat that was sent from Tear Blood. Thank you so much, Tear Blood, for that $20 super chat. We appreciate you spending your hard money and supporting the channel. To Also, by the way, if you haven't already, people definitely want to say hello to Tear Blood, uh, too, also as well. Um, and that's a great <laughs> way to support the channel, you know, uh, super chats. Are awesome. They help the channel, help us uh, you know, get better equipment, make better videos to content and things like that of that nature. Also, if you can't not send a super chat, then you can also support the channel by simply watching all of the videos that we have. You know, when you watch a, one of our videos, just watch all of the commercials um, that we have in the video, and that supports the channel too also as well. All righty. Um, and also, yeah, if again, if you're watching this on the replay, you can support the channel by sending a donation, um, to us by using the 
Cash App. And the link is inside of the description of this video to send a donation using the Cash App uh, too also as well. Uh, Life Media Pro is back in the building once again, people. Uh, welcome back, uh, Life Media Pro, Pro. If you haven't already, please say hello to Life Media Pro. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Life Media. Appreciate you. Happy Thanksgiving, Life Media, too, also as well, by the way. Uh, Curtis says, um, hope to acquire the Chase Card, Sapphire, and Business Inc. Great plan there, Curtis. You know that. That business ink card is one of the best business cards that they have out there. Okay. And the Sapphire, if you get the Sapphire Reserve, I mean, that's huge. Okay. The Sapphire Reserve can um, grant a credit limit all the way up to $100,000. Okay. For one, a huge credit limit. Okay. For two, has lots of travel uh, rewards, benefits uh, with that card. Two also as well, and there's so many different benefits with that card <clears throat> that you can get, okay? Um, so, awesome card uh, to get. I mean, some people have had some gripes about the card, however, because their Chase is talking about increasing the annual fee to $550. Well, that's a rumor, okay? Rumor, but it's been rumored by some very uh, trustworthy uh, so sources, Okay, like Doctor of Credit and Credit Shifu. Okay, <clears throat> and um, it's a possibility that that may happen. Okay, and all Chase is trying to do is just force you guys to you know, basically they're forcing a dining credit down your throat, a hundred dollar dining credit down your throat, making you swallow that, and justification to make you pay an additional hundred dollars or five hundred and fifty dollars a year. I mean, for those of you who like to eat out a lot, dining out, eating out a lot, that may be worth it. You know, you can easily spend $100 a year in one year eating out. Very easy to do. Okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, Janelle was saying, there you go. I got Lyndon on that of missing your comment. Yeah. Thank you, Janelle, because, I mean, I, I don't know what's going on. Um, with my software here, but <clears throat> seems like now I can't see, I cannot see the super chats on my screen. That's why Janelle's here helping me out. Uh, she notices it right, like right away. And some of the comments I don't see, you know, uh, I don't know if it's because our live stream is broadcasted in so many different platforms at the same time right now. I don't know if that could be a factor or not. But I know they did email me telling me that I would be able to see super chats, but I didn't know they didn't say when. Um, but let's see, yeah. Uh, Pink Lady says that you can do it, Curtis. Yeah, you can do it. I have faith in you, brother, for sure. Okay, Janelle says at least Lyndon has someone here to not only back him up but to get on him if he missed any comments or questions. It drove. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. But thank you. I appreciate you, babe. Uh, Pink Lady says, big boss man, LOL. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Well, maybe someday I will be the big boss man, I guess. Uh, yeah. So Janelle says, happy Thanksgiving, Gary. Happy Thanksgiving, buddy. Happy thanks. Curtis says that he has the Chevron business card. Kanoko card and Wells Fargo business card, the internet, a continuous learning platform. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I remember what it was like when we really didn't have too much of internet, you know, or, or it wasn't really too popular. I remember those days and I mean, things have changed so much. I mean, the internet has made research um, so much easier. You know what I mean? And I believe people are so much more knowledgeable now that we have internet uh, than they were back then because they were limited to only the knowledge that they can obtain from books, whereby the internet combines all of that vast um, sea of information from all of those books on the World Wide Web. <clears throat> 
and we can now have access to all of that knowledge now. So that's just totally awesome. I agree with you, Curtis, and thank you for sharing that too. Um, also as well, Janelle says, yeah, that's definitely awesome. Yeah, I agree. The internet is definitely an awesome thing. I mean, what would we do without internet? I don't know. I guess we wouldn't be having this live stream if we didn't with you guys if we didn't have internet, you know? But we probably still could do a live stream, even if we didn't have internet at home, but we would be doing it. We can do it from our cell phone. <laughs> I, I never tried it before, but that's one thing I want to try so bad. Um, but I want to make sure that I'm able to reach, you know, all of the people on Facebook, and not only YouTube, our subscribers, but also our um, members. Uh, from our Facebook groups on Facebook and our supporters on Facebook, Pinterest, um, Twitter, Periscope, Twitch, and also uh, Mixer. So, yeah, I'm pretty busy on social media. All of the links to follow me, guys, is in the bottom of the About section. Actually, the links to follow me and Janelle is actually in the bottom of this video. It's in our descriptions now. Uh, we have included that in uh, our every video that we make from now on. So that way you guys um, have ways to follow us on our social media uh, too also as well. Because, you know, social media, um, the good thing about social media and the benefit of that is you can, you know, uh, reach our Facebook groups uh, 24 hours a day and, you know, things of that nature. And you can contact us there uh too also as well because we're always on facebook actually we're on facebook more than we are on youtube and uh you know so we use a lot of social media for sure for sure uh tear blood says yo i made it how is everyone yeah appreciate you and thank you again for that 20 dollars super chat Chair Blood, really appreciate that. We're doing fine, Chair Blood. I hope you're enjoying your Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving uh, to also as well. So everyone, if you haven't already, please say hello to Chair Blood uh, for sure. And let's see. Bodyguard 856 is back in the house, people. If you haven't already, people, please say hello to Bodyguard 856. Happy Thanksgiving, Bodyguard. Appreciate you. And welcome back uh, to our live stream. And uh, let's see. Yeah, thank you for welcoming uh, each other, people. Really appreciate that. And Bodyguard says he's on vacation, but he had to check in. I appreciate you. Appreciate you checking in on your vacation. How's your vacation going? Are you enjoying it? And uh, are you doing anything special on your vacation or going anywhere special? Okay, um, I'm just kind of curious too. Curtis Davis says, "Wow, Sapphire Reserve, one hundred thousand dollar line." It's true. Well, it can be. It's true. I just looked it up. Uh, Janelle looked it up. I looked it up a long time ago. That's how I know. Uh, it can be a one hundred thousand dollar line. It's not guaranteed right away when you first get to Chase Sapphire Reserve credit card. They may start you off with some other credit limit. They possible they could start you off with over 10,000, right? Cause they're known for that. Uh, but, um, they're also on the list of, um, high credit limit credit card issuers. Okay. Um, so they do give out these high credit, uh, limits. Okay. But I believe that's the max that Take you can get. The that is the max, uh, that you can get. Uh, as far as credit limit, that's the highest that Chase Sapphire <laughs> Reserve will go as far as if credit limit increases. Okay, if you have an excellent credit score, however. Okay, now um, this is some information that Janelle um, had found here, and this is from cardrates.com. Okay, it's talking about here the highest overall credit limit, $100,000. And so as one, you can see good. here what it's saying, the Chase Sapphire Preferred card is a great choice. 
Mr. Number One. Right. It has a maximum credit limit, just as impressive. So that's an awesome card there uh, to have. As you can see, the 60,000 bonus points after you spent $4,000 in the first three months, which is not too bad. Uh, you know what I mean? It's something we can definitely do. Uh, but a 60,000 points, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome benefit there. Um, so that's why people, you if you get approved for like a Chase Sapphire Reserve or a Chase Sapphire Preferred or even a Chase Freedom or Freedom Unlimited, hold on to that card like 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 it, it's like like it's your last the last credit card and the only credit card in the world okay hold on to it cherish it because chase can they can they can increase your credit limit all the way up to one hundred thousand dollars on a chase sapphire prefer okay um so you, you you definitely you definitely don't want to uh, take that for granted if you're able to get a Chase card. Uh, Julian Robinson is back in the house, people. Welcome back, Julian. Appreciate you, and happy Thanksgiving, Julian. Too. We haven't seen you in a while here in our live stream, but we're glad you're back. Also, by the way, if you haven't already, people, please say hello to Julian. Uh, Robinson, how, how's how you been doing there, Julian? How's it been going with your um, credit? And uh, let's see. Um, Curtis says that some big, some business bank reward, some business bank reward. Big. What's that? Some business bank reward uh, three hundred dollars for opening accounts. Yeah, um, for that, Curtis, um, you could definitely see a lot of information on um, business bank account bonuses um, on uh, Doctor Credit's website. Doctor Credit has a lot of information on um, or, or creditcards.com those that those two sites uh, you could definitely see a lot of information about uh, they'll, they'll give you a whole list of banks that offer sign-on bonuses uh, for you just opening up a bank account with them and we're gonna get into some of those in some live stream topics too also as well which I um, just got a, another new account um, with another company. I'm not going to spoil a surprise here, but I'm going to save that for a future uh, live stream too also as well. We didn't mention that I got approved for BBBA. Uh, that's going to be another live stream, Janelle. Um, Janelle got approved for BBVA, but we're going to save that for another live stream. That's right, kid. Okay. Um <laughs> we're definitely going to save that one. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time there. Julian, we missed you, brother. I haven't seen you in a live stream in a while. Terra Blood says, I won't be able to stay long. I'm on break. I'm currently working. We appreciate you, Terra Blood, that you're on here okay. with us, you know, uh, participating with us too uh, during your break time at work. And hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your day, your night at work. A two and have a happy Thanksgiving, Tear of Blood. Um, we look forward to seeing you again with us. Julia Robinson says, I'm good, just working. Congratulations on your cards. Can't wait till I get there. Yes, you will, Julian. You know, for sure. You definitely will. So, you know, just hang in there, Julian. Um, you know, that's all you gotta do. Like Janelle said, they're hanging there. She has faith in you. Just keep it up. You know, we're here and rooting for you as well. Yep. We're on your team there, Julian. We're team Julian for sure. Yeah, let's see. So um, Julian says she's getting back on track, slowly paying off those credit cards. Almost there. Yep. You'll get there, Julian. Just, you know, keep up the good work there. Uh, Pink Lady says that Chase is offering her the Chase Sapphire Preferred and a mortgage on my online portal now. Wow, that's awesome, Pink Lady. That's some good news. I mean, if they're offering you the Chase Sapphire Preferred and you already have the Chase Freedom, that's great because 
now you you know after you get approved for the chase sapphire preferred you will then have two chase cards okay so once you get up to three and four i mean the benefits are like out of this world okay because you can um withdraw you can uh transfer points from some of those cards over to another card and when you do that it increases the value of those points okay and then say if you want to travel um you can transfer those points out to transfer partners and then that further increases the value of those points too also as well so but what I, so what we understand is that you know uh travel rewards points are similar to cash back in the way that just like you can stack cash back like say you have a credit card that earns one percent cash back uh but it may have uh you may have found a a, a benefit uh, on another particular service could be a shopping portal or something that offers you 5% cash back. So now you take that credit card that offers the 1% cash back, you go on that shopping portal and you get that 5% cash back for shopping there too also as well. And then you could also combine that with something say like if you have a Samsung cell phone or you have an Apple phone, right? You can combine that with special um, rewards, cash back benefits, and points from that provider, like maybe Apple Pay, uh, definitely Samsung Pay. You can earn points, cash back, and rewards too, also as well through using Samsung Pay. Okay. Samsung has a total, uh, a, a complete like reward system that a lot of people don't even talk about. Okay. And that's a reason why. We believe that Lyft, uh, the, the uh, transportation provider Lyft rides are more valuable than Uber rides because Lyft offers more cash back, more points, more rewards than Uber does. And also Uber is um, much less expensive than Uber is. Uber rides cost more okay, than Lift rights to also as well. And you get about the same value as far as drivers, um, vehicles to also as well. I mean, for Uber, if you get a like a a upper tier vehicle, like a more expensive vehicle to pick you up, you got to pay more money. With Lyft, you don't. If somebody picks you up in a in, in a BMW or Ferrari, that hey, you just got to ride in a Ferrari, but you don't have to pay extra for it. Whereas in Uber, you do, you know. Um, so there's a lot of more benefits to using Lyft than with Uber. You know, even if you had the Uber Visa card and you were able to, you know, maximize all of your points and rewards using the full Uber rewards program, all of the rewards, the cashback, the points, all of that stuff <laughs> will still not add up to the points, rewards, cashback, and all this stuff that you get with using uh, your lift rights, it still would not compare. You would not get as much cash back as you would with um, using Lyft, okay, with Uber. And that's just, you know, this is the way it is. And, and um, if you guys want, we can do a full breakdown of the whole, you know, cash back reward system and point system, right? Um, comparing Uber to Lyft and, you know, Uber pretty much, uh, Lyft, Lyft pretty much wins the battle there when it comes to that. Okie doke. Let's see here. Um, yeah, you're definitely doing a good job there, Julian. Just keep up the good work there, bro. You know, um, yeah, people, we're, we're on kind of late right now. We've been on over two hours, but we I don't have to work in the morning, so... You know, if you have any, any questions, you know, definitely leave them in the comments. You know, if you have any additional comments, things that you want to say or add okay. to our live stream. Um, I don't have to, like, again, I don't have to work in the morning, so no I problem. can stay up a little. I can stay up late if you guys need to, uh, for sure. We have another new person here in our live stream by the name of Arminda Calderon. Um Thank you so much for joining us, Arminda, and let us know. Please let us know 
what Facebook group or Facebook page that you're from, okay? Um, and so everyone, please say hello to our new person here in our live stream, Arminda Calderon, and happy Thanksgiving, Alminda. Thank you so much for joining us uh, too bright away. We really appreciate you um, too also. And we look forward to uh, seeing you, you know, uh, in the future once again, uh, too also, by the way. Arminda says, FYI, he is the moderator for this page. Are you talking about our Facebook page, how to get an 800 credit score? Yeah, I am the administrator or moderator. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that with everyone, too. Uh, yeah, we do have a Facebook page, people. It's called How to Get an 800 Credit Score, uh, too, also as well. If you're talking about that that page, Amanda, thank you for mentioning that, too, also, by the way. Uh, and on that page, uh, How to Get an 800 Credit Score, we share you know, our videos or live streams that we make. We share them there. Uh, Facebook, too, also, as well, because the reason why we do that is because we don't want, you know, um, anyone on Facebook, you know, to miss out on all these gems that we're sharing, you know, here on our channel, you know, people can benefit tremendously from all of this information that we share uh, with you guys too. Also as well, a lot of our subscribers are getting approved for mortgages, getting very sweet deals on mortgages, great deals, you know, car loans, lines of credit, you know, getting approved for Chase cards, uh, American Express cards, you, you name it, you know. Um, it's definitely, this channel is definitely adding a lot of value to many people's lives. And we don't want anyone on Facebook uh, to miss out, you know, on a lot of this stuff. So that's why we do our live streams, not only on YouTube, uh, but we do it at the same time on Facebook. That's why you guys see you know, people commenting from Facebook um, to also as well. And sometimes you may see people from Periscope or Twitter stop by to show some love or comment or something uh, because we want to share that with as many people as we can. Bodyguard 856 says, enjoying the Florida weather. Yeah, you know, I'm kind of jealous because uh, Bodyguard today, we're in South Dakota, right? So we... What was the temperature today, you know? It was like, what, 30, 30 something? Or it felt like right now, 14 or something. And we had snow. Yeah, like 23. Six, so it's 23 degrees right now. So right it's now. not that bad, you know. Um, we had uh, snow. We had some snow early this morning, like from yeah, 3 yeah. A, from three in the morning to like oh. 6 in the morning. Uh, it didn't yeah, really yeah, last too long. Really but then it's, we you know, we in. got more snow coming in tomorrow um too so we expect to have a lot of snow up here we do every winter so it's nothing that we're not used to already uh me i enjoy all the four i love all the four seasons you know i mean if i was <laughs> living in hawaii or something yeah that would be different you know perfect weather all year round you know what i mean but we're not we're not living in hawaii right now you know, we're looking at Hawaii like, you know, that's an, to us, Hawaii is like a pretty expensive place to live. You know what I mean? So we're not ready for Hawaii right now. We're good where we're at. Uh, Janelle says, um, a bodyguard 856. Yeah, that's awesome. Mr. Chakotazo is there as well. There you go, bodyguard. Maybe you and Chakotazo can hook up or something. You know, you're critical both in Florida. Thinker, in Florida right now. And Critical Thinker is down there in Florida too. Yeah, so Florida. A lot of you guys, a lot of our subscribers are in florida too also um here we're trying to stay warm we gotten three inches of snow from last night we're getting more snow tomorrow yep we're gonna be getting a lot of snow this week um <laughs> too also so pink lady is near the motor city she has an suv and she used uber in vegas awesome awesome yeah um vegas is nice i, I think i've been to vegas one time yeah, I've been to Vegas like one time. So really, but I, I never went back there. You know, um, how long it been? But it's been such a long, 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 long time. Many years ago, uh, when I went to Vegas. So I mean, eight with my last 
uh, Janelle been there in 2008. I, I probably been there before 2008. I don't know. Maybe, no, maybe about 2008 or 2009, maybe. Okay. So it's been a long time. Curtis Davis says Lyft better stock over Uber at the moment. Yeah, yeah, because you know what? Uber, Uber, Uber uh, has been losing a lot of money, right? Uh, Uber's company has not been doing too well as a company. Okay. Um, and Lyft is pretty much. Uh, been taking a lot of their business now. Uber is more established than Lyft. I'll get them that because they've been around longer than Lyft. That's the only thing they have over Lyft is time. Okay, but if you give Lyft the same amount of time in the business that Uber has been in business, Lyft is pretty much going to match up to where Uber is at. Uber is pretty much in many different countries right now, whereas Lyft is pretty much just um locally located here in the united states right they have not expanded abroad as much as uber has in several different countries that's why a lot of people you hear a lot of people saying that they took an uber ride and they were in colombia or they took an uber ride and they were in cuba right or they took an uber ride in another country so that's why you hear them saying that because uber is international right whereas lyft is local but I mean, I, I don't, you know, unless it could be beneficial to you if you're traveling to other countries, right? But if you're just here in the United States, then why not use a Lyft ride? If it's it's cheaper, you know, you're spending less money, you're getting the same service, right? You're getting the same service, but you're spending less, right? And then if you learn how to um, maximize your cash back rewards and points, you can get more value out of Lyft than you can get out of Uber. Okay. If you know how to, uh, you know, maximize the cash back system, the travel rewards and point system too, also as well. Okay. Uh, Critical Thinker says, We have a lot of you all visiting my state. <laughs> Because Florida is just beautiful. I never been there. I never either. So hopefully one day we will. You hear that, people? Yeah, Janelle's never been there either. But hopefully we one we one day will. I mean, I David David Amex King Ma says that we should travel, and we should travel more, right? So that's what we're we're gonna do. We're gonna start gonna traveling start and stuff next year. Hopefully, for sure, next year that should give us enough time to uh you know we're gonna get some travel rewards credit cards and hit some sign on bonuses there you know and get enough so that we can travel for free all righty yeah critical thinkers in florida tallahassee yeah i hear that born and raised so critical thinker is a native of florida there um, Janelle says, yes, Lyft is better. Lyndon use Lyft every day for work. I use it as well every other week. Yeah, you know, I, okay, this is one thing I, I don't think Uber can do, right? Uber can give you points, right? Uber can give you Uber cash, right? But uh, Lyft, they, one day Lyft gave me $5 for just one ride, <laughs> Like a, a six minute ride, Lyft paid me five dollars for one ride. Yeah, you heard that clearly. Lyft paid me five dollars for one ride. Now I can show you guys how to do all of that stuff too. That's why I'm gonna um we're gonna make a special video, a live stream topic about that because uh what what app is gonna pay you right five dollars? Okay for a six dollar ride did you hear that <laughs> so i almost got that ride for free okay because of utilizing rewards programs uh cashback programs we'll get and lift but we're gonna get to all of that in the live stream you're gonna learn a lot of secrets I'm gonna help you all okay out. of how to all right, maximize your cash back rewards and points. 
Yep, we're in South Dakota. We've never been to Florida, but one day we will make that one of our uh, stops for sure. Because I've heard so many nice things about Florida and like Pink Lady saying, yeah, it's a huge difference in, you know, weather and things like that. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, because, yeah, we... We get some cold temperatures there, uh, here Crazy. in South Dakota. When it gets to January, February, March, whoo! Yeah, well, like yeah. Janelle's saying, when it gets to January, February, March, um, we could see as low as forty degrees below zero. So yeah, it gets pretty cold. You know. Um, oh, okay. You were in the military in North Chicago, Great Lakes. It was 20 degrees below wind chill factor. Felt like I could slice the air with a butter knife. Yeah. I mean, it's one thing if the temperature is low, like 20 degrees below zero. But it's also another thing if the if it's a, a wind chill or if, if it's very windy, that's <laughs> that's a lot. That's that's even worse. The wind you can't even breathe. The wind makes it colder. Okay. <laughs> um when it's windy. Critical Thinker says, does Patreon allow you to purchase AUs with a credit card? Patreon, yeah, you can sign up uh, for one of our authorized users uh, through Patreon. And yes, Patreon accepts credit cards. And once you sign up, um, we can add you on one of our credit cards as an authorized user. I mean, it doesn't have to be one credit card. If you want to sign up for more than one credit card, like say, for example, you want to sign up to be an authorized user. Like someone said they wanted to sign up to be an authorized user on the city, city double cash card, right? Which is very uh, affordable. I think that card is less than $20 to sign up to be an authorized user on that card, right? So we're pretty much um, giving away authorized users almost for free. Okay, we're pretty much giving it away because a lot you won't find you won't find you will not find an authorized user for that price pretty much nowhere anywhere. Okay. Um, and like say for example, you want to become an authorized user on the city double cash, the um uh, discover it, which has a seven thousand dollar credit limit to also and I believe you can take authorized users on <laughs> your IKEA too, right? I will double check all that. Yeah, she's going to double check the IKEA. That one has $5,500. Uh, the $8,500 one I haven't gotten yet from hey, IKEA, but, but um, they're definitely going to get back to me on that one. So there's a lot of authorized users that's really low price that you can, you know, sign up for. Like some of them are like $15, $20, $30, $35. You know, et cetera, et cetera, and they're well worth the money uh, too, also as well, uh, because it helps to boost your credit score super fast. Okay, and it helps you build a strong credit profile uh, too, also as well. So, if you're looking, for example, to build a relationship with a particular credit card issuer, that's a great way to go. You know, I had a Discover it. Uh, I was added on someone's. Um, Discover card as an authorized user before I got my Discover it credit card for a seven thousand dollar credit limit, right? And I believe that might have helped me somewhat uh, with Discover with getting approved for that higher credit limit uh, because I was on someone else's Discover card uh, for like many months. I believe I was on that Discover card as an authorized user. I believe for over six months on that Discover It card, okay? And uh, the reason why I had decided not to be on that person's Discover It card anymore because I felt it really wasn't too beneficial um, to my credit score anymore. You know what I mean? Because at that time, I was already in the 700s, so it's like, what can I do with that? You know, really nothing, really, so... Might as well not be on the card anymore. You know what I mean? Um, and the benefit about Patreon, too, also, is that you also can, uh, you know, 
uh, open the door to vast amounts of information on, you know, authorized users that can go up to 36 years. I mean, we don't have them, but some of our partners do have um, authorized user credit cards that are 36 years old. And you can be added on to a 36 year old credit card. And, you know, that would do wonders for your credit score because of that age, 36 years. I mean, that's huge. OK, if I if I put myself on a credit card like that, that has 36 years of credit history. I, I mean, I, I probably couldn't comprehend how high my credit score can go. It probably hit almost 800, if not over 800 for sure. OK. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of benefits on becoming a Patreon um, of our channel, okay? Um, you also, uh, we do have some um, memberships there on a Patreon that uh, can actually help you, you know, if you're someone that needs coaching, needs uh, someone like on a one-to-one -one basis to work with, you can get that becoming a member of our Patreon for as little as $30, $30, okay, $30. And we do have special combo packages there where you can get, um, you know, an authorized user and coaching and help building business credit, uh, including with exclusive videos that ne are never seen before and will never be seen by anyone else but you you know, for being uh, becoming a special member of our Patreon too, um, also as well. Critical Thinker says, or oh, do they prefer a debit card? No, um, Patreon, you can use, I believe you can use a debit card if it has that Visa or MasterCard logo, if you need to, if you have to use that. But if you have a credit card, yeah, they take credit cards, no problem at all. Uh, Janelle says, man, how many of you live and are visiting Florida? Now I'm really jealous. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm definitely jealous. Also, look uh, who's back. Cornell, Mr. Mentor Freeman is in the house back in the building again, people. Everyone, please say hello to Cornell, Mr. Mentor Freeman. Cornell is one of our first um, participants in our first live stream here on this channel. Yeah, he was in our first live stream, and um, you know he's one of our veterans here to this channel, and we really appreciate you, Cornell, uh, for you know supporting the channel and everything hey, like that. We have to just take your dog. And um, happy Thanksgiving to you too, also as well. So if you haven't already, people, please say hello to Cornell, Mr. Mentor uh, Freeman, uh, too, also as well. Really appreciate that. People welcoming uh, the people coming in. Thank you so much. Brian Walton says, critical thinkers sitting here getting fat. How are you doing? <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, me too. I'm, I'm right there with you. As soon as um, this live stream is over, I'm going to go have a late dinner. So, yeah, I'm glad you guys um, are enjoying your Thanksgiving too also as well. Um, so let's see. I'm looking for some more comments here. Just scrolling through. You have 36 years. Everybody's asking that question. You mentioned 36 years. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, um, information that we have that's included in Patreon memberships. Okay. Um, so... If you guys were curious about that, just go head over to Patreon and you can definitely um, check it out. It's in one of our memberships there. I, I don't remember the, the exact membership there, the, the exact tier. The tiers are membership, same thing. Uh, but if you go on a Patreon page, you would definitely see it there. You can have access to that information. Okay. But that is like... I wouldn't say it's top secret information because it's not top secret information, but it is information that we acquired from um, severe research, intense research, okay, comprehensive, intense research. We did a lot of work to get that kind of information. Um, so that we don't just give out on a YouTube channel, but for our Patreons, 
who's supporting the channel, we definitely will, um, you know, you can have access to that information for sure. And as be part of your Patreon membership too also as well. So there's so many different benefits to becoming a Patreon um, of our channel uh, too also as well. So you definitely, if you haven't already and you, you feel you need some of those benefits that we offer, definitely go over to our Patreon and sign up. Okay, don't wait too long because I don't we don't know how long um, these prices are going to be this low. We don't know. You know what I mean? For example, a lot of our credit cards that we have, you know, authorized user slots on um, the pro those prices may not stay that low because of the simple fact that there are such things as credit limit increases. Those credit cards can get credit limit increases and they will right? Those credit cards uh, will age. They will get older. So the older they get, the price may go up in the future. So that price, if you get in now and you sign up now to become an authorized user, you're going to have a sweet deal when that when those credit cards age. Okay, for sure. Um. Let's see. Any other? Yeah. Okay. Um, Critical Thinker says, Lyndon, you are on. You are spot on with creating a relationship. Bank of America was the first Ooh. to offer me a card because I had a checking or savings with at least fifteen hundred dollars. Plus, I had each of my kids' accounts there. Yeah, that is phenomenal. Um, by the way, people, if you haven't already, you want to check out a live stream video that we did here on this channel. It's called "How to Get Approved for." any credit card, right? And it talks about the banking relationship, okay? Um, so you definitely want to check out that video too also as well. It's here on this channel. It's called How to Get Approved for Any Credit Card. And uh, banking relationships are, are, are relation. They call it relation. The actual term for it is called relationship banking. Okay, and with relationship banking, you know, that's where uh, the banker tries to develop a relationship with the customer. Um, um, and, you know, the point is that you want to have a relationship develop with your bank. Okay, a good way to do that is to open um, a checking account, a savings accounts, stay active with programs there at the banks you know sometimes you can even stop by the bank just to say hello if you know um what day your banker's birthday is it wouldn't hurt to just stop by the bank and give them a birthday card and say happy birthday you know little things like that it matters and people remember that they'll say to themselves hey you know he doesn't always come in here when he wants something or he wants to open a checking account or he wants to withdraw money or he wants this or he wants that sometimes he actually comes in here just to say hi how you doing how is your day happy birthday and people they remember those things it, you may think is is something small to you but that's huge to someone else <clears throat> you know it's huge so uh, don't don't be that gimme 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 person or I want I want I want person all the time. Sometimes be that hi how you doing person or sometimes being hi how is your day person or say be that hi happy birthday person. Okay, it means a lot to people, especially people who work in banks, because they're used to people just coming in and wanting something from them all the time. <clears throat> They're used to that. So developing a relationship with your bank is one of the most important things you can do to start you off on your journey to building credit. Okay. Uh, and also to uh, set the foundation in place for you to build upon to start getting approved for the credit cards that you're looking to get approved for. And people like in, in Dwayne's live stream on Monday, someone had just gotten approved uh, for a Wells Fargo credit card. Okay. With 24 hard inquiries, people, 24, 24 hard inquiries. This person stopped into a bank 
went to a local Wells Fargo bank and applied there at the bank despite having 24 hard inquiries and still got approved for the credit card. Now that just tells me that there is power in developing a relationship with your bank. There is power in, you know, uh, connecting with your banker. There's power in that, you know, and that is something that a lot of people fail to realize that, you know, it is important to develop that relationship with your banker. Okay. That opens the doors to a lot of, you know, opportunities uh, for credit cards, loans, lines of credit, business credit, business loans, um, business credit cards, mortgage approval, a sweet deal on a car loan, right? So, so many things. Uh, having a, a relationship with your bank is, is just so important. And I believe that everyone should at least have a savings account and a checking account. Okay. For sure. Uh, yeah, but Bank of America, Critical Thinker, that, that, that was a very powerful move that you did there. Very smart move too, by the way. You're very smart for uh, opening a checking an account and a savings account with Bank of America because Bank of America has uh, some really great credit cards there that offer a lot of uh, credit cards rewards and totally awesome credit cards there. Okay. And I mean, uh, Chase has a uh, credit card that offers a 5% in a revolving categories, right? Um, just like uh, Discover It has. And sometimes I've heard that those quarters, they go by quarters, you know, 5% cash back and certain, certain things and quarters throughout the years, uh, every three months, you know, and just like our Discover It card has cash back bonus quarters to also 5%, right? Same thing. Um, and sometimes they are, you know, in the same quarter on the same thing. And sometimes they're not, right, um, for the same purchases, right? But there are other cards out there that offer 5% cash back, 3% cash back in certain categories. You can even get cash back on paying your utility bills, right, like internet, uh, things like that. Uh, your cell phone bills, uh, you can get, you know, uh, cash back on so many different things. So it's like, this is why, you know, people who use cash um, miss out on so many opportunities to create for themselves a supplemental income, right? Like how many times you have I given a, a, a hundred dollar bill to a cashier there in a store and the cashier actually handed me $20 back? It's never happened, guys. Never, never. Okay, that $20 is gone once I spend it. But if you use a credit card, you may sign up for a special credit card offer that may be connected to a cashback portal, right? you could end up getting $20 back, okay? Or you could end up getting $20 taken off of that $100 purchase. So in reality, you just bought um, some items that cost $100 and you got them for $80, okay? So actually, you're saving money, but at the same time, you know, you're – you're generating income for yourself because saving money is actually making money. Yeah, critical thinker, 36 years. Yep. And see all information like this, like that, that, that special information is available to all of our to um our Patreon to our Patreon members. Uh, you know, who signed up for those uh tiers. <laughs> Because this is the limit to so much information we can share here on our YouTube channel. 
Um, yeah, Pink Lady says, uh, we are all headed to Florida with a critical thinker, LLL. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all headed to Florida. Wow. So that's really awesome. Wish we could just join you guys in Florida uh, for sure. For sure. That's like You're going to be high. totally awesome. And thank you, uh, Spence Echoes. Thank you so much for that $4 super chat. Uh, two also, by the way, did he have a comment with that super chat or no? Nope. Okay. Yeah, we really appreciate you spending your heart on money, uh, Spence Echoes, and supporting the channel. That's really awesome. Definitely everyone give a thumbs up and hit the like button for Spence Echoes. Thank you so much uh, for that $4 super chat. Really appreciate that. And everyone, if you haven't already, please say hello to Spence Echoes, too, also. Uh, by the way, critical thinker, he loves his state, Florida, just as long as you don't litter, enjoy the great state of Florida. Yeah, I agree. I mean, littering, littering just, it spoils a lot of places, you know, it's, it certainly does. Ronald Anderson says, who has 36 years authorized user? Well, some of our Patreon members do. <laughs> some of our Patreons are... Um, signed up on credit cards that uh, have 36 years of credit history. Okay, let's see. Uh, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? The comments. Okay, here, here we go. Yeah, Pink Lady's heading over there to Florida. I wish we could join you guys, like I said before. Um, Janelle says, you better get a big home for all of us. Yeah, it's a bunch of us then. You know, you got me, Pink Lady, Janelle. Uh, who else? Uh, 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 Critical Thinker. Uh, who else? Uh, Mr. Takatasso. <laughs> You'd have a bunch of us over there for sure. I hope you do have a big house for all of us. And and, and Janelle says, it helps, she hopes it has a huge backyard too. Also, Juan Martinez, welcome back to the chat, too. Also, by the way, Juan says, how long does it take for my jewelers to post? Not that long at all, Juan. I think the max is like uh, 45 days or 50 days or so. Um, you know, within in less than two months, it should uh, have already posted. Okay. But that's a guaranteed $5,000 credit limit. Okay. So if you haven't already, people, please welcome and please say hello to Juan Martinez. Welcome back, Juan. Appreciate you. Cornell says, I'm glad I caught you guys. I appreciate the welcome and love to your credit family. <clears throat> Percent, 100. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know you're part of our family. So, And all of you guys, really, um, you know, a lot of love to you guys. Really appreciate all of you watching our videos and our live streams, you know, you guys are a part of our credit family, you know, so really appreciate all of you for sure. Critical Thinker says a 36 year authorized user trade line will be a massive benefit for anyone's credit. Yeah, it sure will. It, it definitely would be. You know, Pink Lady agrees. Juan Martinez says, what's your oldest card that you have available for authorized users? Well, we have a few of them, um, but they're on our Patreon um, site. So if you definitely want to go ahead and go over there, Juan, and just check out the page and scroll down and scroll through all the authorized users, um, all the credit cards that we have there available for authorized users, you can, and you can scroll through all the benefits that we have there. Uh, for authorized users, but you'll have to scroll through it, you know, and read through all the different tiers that we have a uh, part of our Patreon page. Janelle says, hello and happy Thanksgiving at Juan Martinez. Thank you for saying that. Uh, two also as well. Uh, Curtis says, goods in live stream tonight. Yeah, yeah, we got a few goods, but Unfortunately, we couldn't give away all the goods, all the goods. We could give away most of the goods, but not all the goods. Some of the goods, we have to appreciate our Patreon members, okay? And that's the reason why, because they're actually, you know, spending money to become a Patreon. 
Um, so we appreciate that and show our appreciation. There's certain things that are going to be exclusive only for our Patreon members. All right. Just the same way that, you know, um, our subscribers, they and, you know, they get to um, get special notifications every time we do videos or live streams, whereas other viewers who are not subscribers, they don't or they can't. You know, unless they actually subscribe to the channel, you know, so there's certain benefits that come you know, come along um, with becoming a Patreon member. Uh, Juan Martinez says, hey, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, Juan. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you're enjoying uh, your Thanksgiving uh, holidays, too, also as well. Curtis Davis says, happy Thanksgiving for all. Thank you so much, Pink Lady, for welcoming everyone and, and, you know, greeting everyone. appreciate that. Janelle says, the recent one was IKEA Project Credit Card. No, that's 5000 baby. I you know. It wrong. It's my fault. Yeah, Janelle had a typo. It's not $4,500. It's not $4,500 credit limit. It's $5,500 credit limit. My bad. So Janelle says her bad is a typo there. Um, Critical Thinker says, have Janelle or I had any experience with the reconsideration lines? If so, I would see a future. I would want to see a future live stream about it. Yeah, uh, we can we can do that. We can do that, um, Critical Thinker, for sure. We can definitely do a future live stream about it. I mean, believe me, we have so many live stream topics that uh, we need to uh, discuss here on this channel, uh, for sure. I mean, there's so many. I mean, there, there are. Just believe me, there are so many different topics. Brian Watson says, Navy Federal Credit Union is where it's at. If you can join, they love giving high credit limits, especially if you have a relationship with them. I have two $25,000 credit cards with them. Wow, that's two. Wow, that's awesome. Bring on. That's like $50,000 between just two credit cards. <laughs> that So you pretty much has someone's, you have either two cars, like someone's car vehicles, like two of someone's vehicles on your credit cards, or maybe you have... Um, like maybe four down payments on a house there between two credit cards. That's totally awesome there, Brian. Congratulations, everyone. Please say congratulations to Brian Walton. Good deal. Good good stuff there, uh, Brian, for sure. Uh, Anti-Social Hub is back, people, in the building again. Um, how you doing? Oh, happy Thanksgiving, Anti-Social. He says, what's good, chap? So everyone, if you haven't already, please say hello to Anti-Social Hub. Um, Pink Lady says, hey, people, hit the like button. Thank you so much for sharing that, Pink Lady, uh, too, as well. Really appreciate that. Yeah, people, hit the thumbs up button. It helps us to grow the channel more, and it helps YouTube also as well. Uh, for YouTube to put this uh, live stream in front of more and more people, too, also uh, as well. And... I can show that one on the screen now. I want to give special recognition to Roses for Me, who says, great info, Lyndon, and keep up the good work. Thank you so much for that $25 super chat, Roses for Me. I really appreciate you. And thank you for all that you do uh, to support the channel, um, too, also as well. Thank you for the kind words, and happy Thanksgiving uh, roses for me. Really appreciate you. How you doing with your new job offer? I know last time we spoke, you were considering a job offer that you were given and whether or not you should take the offer. I was just curious to know uh, if you were thinking about taking the offer or not, or if you're taking it. Critical Thinker says, to be transparent, I maintain a $1,500 balance to avoid their $12 monthly fee. The primary reason was after I moved from Orlando to Tally, I believe you're talking about Tallahassee, there were no Chase here. There was no Chase branch there until after until about a year ago. Oh, okay. I, I got you. I got you. So, yeah, uh, some banks are like that. You know, you got to maintain a certain amount 
um, in your bank account to avoid the monthly fees. Um, but you know, if if it's a bank that you really want to build a relationship with, or it's a bank that offers something that you want from that bank, right? Um, then it could be a, a very beneficial to you uh, to build a relationship with that bank. So really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, people for you know um, greeting the people and and everything and saying hello to the people as they come in. I really appreciate that. Pink Lady and Janelle. Uh, Mr. Cornell, Mr. Mentor says, I opened a Chase checking account just to build the relationship. 524 won't allow me to get a credit card yet. Yeah, um, just uh, hang on in there, Cornell. Just hang on in there, buddy. You know, um, have you tried... Have you tried going to a Chase branch and going in and talking to a manager there and having them check to see if you're pre-approved for any credit cards from Chase? Uh, if you have already, then I understand. But if you haven't already done that, then that's something that you may want to try. Okay. Critical Thinker says that he thinks that you should stick it out and wait. Yeah, and, and if if you know, if you tried all of that already, like I, I, you know, he's right. You should stick it in there and wait. If that's one of your goals, get a Chase credit card. You should stick it in, stick out, stick it out. You know, I know five twenty four is kind of harsh. You know, that's why a lot of people they and they they don't really you know they they they. They go over to American Express and they develop their American Express trifecta or, you know, they get into the American Express ecosystem so deep, you know, because American Express doesn't have any 524 rule or anything crazy like that, you know, but American Express does have rules. They do have rules. You can only sign up for so many credit cards within a certain period, a certain time frame. You can only get so many bonuses from a credit card, a specific credit card. You know, you can only have a certain amount of American Express credit cards. You know, there's so many different rules American Express has, however, okay? And you have to really pay attention to these things too, especially if you have American Express credit cards, okay? You definitely want to know what you can do, what you're allowed to do, and what you're not allowed to do with American Express, okay? Same thing like Chase. Right, Chase has uh, rules too. Like, and I think about almost every credit card issuer has rules, some type of rule or another. Okay. Um, Roses for me says, "Happy Thanksgiving, everyone." I know, I know, I've been MIA, missing in action. Dwayne's Wade's camp called me for a December project. A cop ran over, killed a friend. I'm helping a family get a $1 million bag. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know you were doing that um, security job. I believe it was a security job. I'm not sure, but I'm glad you're back again, uh, Roses, for me, because, yeah, we really missed you over here, you know, for sure, and we're glad, um, glad that you're back once again. So welcome back. Welcome back, you know. And uh, Roses, for me, says congrats, Janelle. On your new credit card, Chocolatazo is here in Florida too. Wow! So, roses for me. You're in Florida too. Wow! There's a lot of people out there in Florida, huh? A lot of you guys in Florida. I, I think you guys should get together and maybe uh, share Thanksgiving together or something. <laughs> Since you're so close by each other, you know. And yeah, happy Thanksgiving, roses for me. Yeah, sorry to hear that. That's some uh, devastating news there. Rosa says this joker did a hit and run, left the scene, felony, vehicular homicide. My soldiers were there, got all photos and evidence. It's personal now. I may get an Amex for New Year's. Okay, so I know someone had a question about where is Panda. Is Panda right here? Is Panda <laughs> right there waving? So no, he's being mommy boy right now. But yeah, um, he's pretty much a mama's boy, so he's always up under Janelle all the time. 
Always. <laughs> Always, all day. Seriously. Yeah, yeah, you're his favorite there, Janelle. That's what I read sure. about why he lay on my foot all the time because he's a favorite. Roses for me says enough of that because me and my team are ready. I take no prisoners. I've been good. So, like, I so Ike Turner doesn't have me on a gag order or looking like a panda beer. <laughs> LOL. Oh, you hear that, panda? <laughs> yeah, I call him panda beer too. That's that's a nickname I have for him. You know, and a beer. Um, okay, ones. Okay, I'm gonna show what you're trying to say there. Critical, um, Curtis is saying I'm going for flagship or platinum next month. Okay, you, you guys are talking about the Navy Federal, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be there right with you guys, you know, in the future. Um, looking to get into Navy Federal too myself. But uh, Roses for Me says at how to get an 800 credit score, 150K salary, money's not everything. I did not take it. I'd rather cook Bob a full meal for Christmas or New Year's. My bro is already over there. Uh, he's talking about, he's talking, she's talking about Cakeology for a lot of you who didn't know. Um, his real name is Bob, by the way. So, yeah, um, Beyond says that he has the flagship and the American Express, bo both good credit cards. Yeah, I, they are very good credit cards there. Critical Thinker says Chase has so much pull in the credit card industry that if they were to do away with their 524, it would instantly change the industry. Personally, I dislike the 524 rule. Yeah, I dislike the 524 rule, too. <laughs> I wish they would just get rid of that thing, you know? I, I really do. I think they should just get rid of toss that thing away, toss it out, you know? I mean, why do they need a 524 rule? That just, just beats me, you know what I mean? Why do they even need a 524 rule? It's just ridiculous, you know, the things that Chase does, you know? It's like... Why, and again, why would they just stuff a dining credit down someone's throat? You know, it's, they, they, they're customers, right? They already got approved for the Chase Sapphire Reserve card long time ago. These are loyal people, loyal customers. Why would they do that to them? Why would they just force them to accept a dining credit? Okay. And, and then go ahead and then, and then turn around and tell them, okay, well, now your annual fee is going to be $100 higher. I, I don't think that's right, people. I don't think that's right. You know, I, I don't think they should be doing that. You know what I mean? Why are they treating their customers like so bad like that? You know what I mean? I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. What are they going to do next? What are they going to do next? You know, are, are they going to raise it another $100? And then say, okay, you guys have to take this dog walking program. Even though you don't need it, you don't even have a dog. And they try to force you to take a dog walking program. <laughs> Come on, it's so many people, they don't even eat out. They don't even dine out. They don't even eat so much as McDonald's, but maybe once or twice a year. And they're being forced to take a dining credit that they won't probably, they don't normally use. Right, you got a lot of people that just um, buy groceries a lot. You know, they cook a lot at home. Okay, and when they do travel, they're at like Airbnb or something, and they're cooking. Right. It would be nice if they take the five twenty four off. Okay. Not every um, day. So I, I mean, you know, I, I just hope Chase doesn't like get to the point where they start pissing people off, really, because. You know, then people are just going to be totally upset. Like all the people, they were upset about the Uber Uber Visa card. You know what the the Uber Visa card did to all the people that had the Uber Visa card. I mean, why did they do that? It just just beats me. I, I you know, I think I, I kind of do know why. Part of the reason why they did it. Uber has been losing a lot of money. Okay, put it this way. 
they're, they're not making the money that they should be making. The company was not doing well at all. The company was not doing well. So the way Uber saw it was that they had to start taking away benefits, right? Uh, to compensate for the money that they've lost, right? So, because a lot of those benefits were costing them money, of course, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess, you know? Yeah, a lot of pissed off people, though, I can tell you that, a lot of pissed off people, and a lot of the, um, if you guys missed that video, we made it here on this channel to the Uber Visa card review, right? The new Uber revamped Uber card. Okay, and we went through all these all the Reddit Reddit posts where a lot of those people were just pissed off and they're talking about closing their accounts uh with Uber and things like that, you know. A lot of pissed off people there, you know. Uh, and a lot of people were uh you know depending on that card for like cash back rewards, things of that nature. And then all of a sudden Uber says, Okay, well, if you're not an Uber passenger, a loyal Uber passenger, we don't want you using our card. So we're not going to give you the same benefits that we gave you before because you're not even an Uber, a regular Uber user. So how do you expect these people to become a regular Uber user if you don't give them some type of incentives to, you know, um, but I don't know the whole Uber rewards thing. It's just not enough rewards and incentives for me. I mean, I'm doing a whole lot better just using Lyft. Roses for me says we all we need to all do a meet and greet for 2020. That would be fun. Meet at a restaurant, have fun. That sounds like a great idea. Thank you for bringing that up, Roses. Yeah, Janelle said that would be awesome. Uh, Critical Thinker says some YouTubers with the higher end cards seem to like Chase 524 rule. Uh. Amex, Barclays, Discover, and Bank of America, if they band together, could force Chase to do away with 524 by offering comparable cards. I think they can. I think they can do it. I think American Express can definitely do it, right? And they're getting close. They're getting really, really close. I mean... What's Chase going to do? Okay, what's Chase going to do when American Express comes out with that new Optio credit card, right? What's Chase going to do then? What is Chase going to come out with? I mean, because um, the American Express Platinum card is a high-tier credit card, right? And then on the other end, you have the Chase Sapphire Reserve, which is also a high-tier credit card, too, also as well. But... Um, if Amex comes out with the Optio card, which actually the rumor is that the Optio card is going to be one level above, one level higher than the American Express Platinum, but yet one level lower than the American Express Centurion card. So it's going to be in between the Platinum and the Centurion card. Now, the Centurion card is kind of like a card that's way out of reach for a lot of people, including myself and Janelle, right? Uh, but the Platinum card may be within reach for a lot of people, right? Um, now, the Optio card is going to be for people who, you know, cannot get the Centurion card or can has no use for the Centurion card, um, but yet still can, you know, get the American Express Platinum. So it's going to be kind of like in between the American Express Platinum and the Centurion card, basically. Okay. So uh, basically point being is American Express is getting pretty close to coming out with something, but will they? I, that I don't know. But I know they can if they wanted to. They could, I believe. Critical Thinker. Critical Thinker says, easy answer, Lyndon, because credit card users accept it. 
people need to understand the power of the dollar. You know, that's true. That's true. People are accepting. That's the reason why Chase can still, you know, do that 524 rule because you can, can you imagine what would happen? Like if, if, well, I, I don't believe, I don't know if that would even be possible. I don't know. Because Chase has such a great, like, marketing department, you know. I, I mean, people can people can do different things, you know. But still, you got people that have them higher high-tier cards and is paying $450 a year, uh, you know, for the Chase Sapphire Reserve, you know, um, what can they do? I mean, can they boycott Chase or something like that? I mean, what can they do? Take their business somewhere else? Take their business to Amex? Um, but I know a lot of people, they, they would probably want to keep their cards because uh, especially those with like um, a lot of years of credit History on their cards, on their chase cards, they definitely would want to keep those for sure. Or a high credit limits, um, they may want to keep those. Uh, they may not want to close that, those accounts. You've been out here for over three hours. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you're right, though, because people accept it. You know, that's the reason why, you know, it continues. Uh, chase okay. continues to do it. You're, you're absolutely right, critical thinker. Brian Walton says, Chase 524 rule is actually a smart ideal on their behalf. A lot of people get two to three credit cards that are Chase first and go out and get another credit card. I hate the rule, but pretty damn smart, LOL. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It is pretty smart of them. A great marketing strategy uh, from Chase in order to... Uh, be the first credit cards that people have. They want to, Chase wants to be the first, right? Okay. Uh, Pink Lady says, I am Lyria Chase. It seems like they like me more than I like them. <laughs> I hear you. I, I don't, you know, I, Chase has some good benefits, okay, but. Uh, like I said before, a lot of those benefits you can get from other credit cards, okay? Chase is not the only issuer with those benefits, okay? Uh, what a lot of people would like to believe or would like to lead other people to believe, they're not the only ones with those benefits that they offer, okay? They're not the only ones that offer 5% cash back. They're not the only ones that offer lounge accesses. They're not the only ones that offer, you know, a lot of the benefits that they offer right now. So, you know, a lot of people want you to believe that, but it's not true, right? American Express offers a lot of those benefits too, um, <clears throat> you know? Uh, Critical Thinker says, Brian Walter, true, it benefits them because they are targeting elitist type of customers just like Verizon tried back in 1999 Sprint and T-Mobile forced Verizon to change yeah it's possible that could happen some other issuers may team up uh, on Chase and force them to change too also Brian Walter said I, I almost pulled the trigger for the Uber credit card that card was a beast before they revamped it Glad I didn't get it. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't get it either, Brion, because you would have lost uh, like most of your benefits if you would have got that card. Um, because I can't even count how many pissed off people were on that Reddit uh, thread, right? That have the Uber card, and they're you're talking about thousands upon thousands of angry people, <laughs> okay. Angry people, so Uber, they better think of something. You know, they better think of something because they have pissed off a lot of people, okay? A lot of their customers are angry. Um, so when it gets to that point, 
I mean, it's pretty much time for the credit card issuer to uh, make a change, okay, to start offering these people something better, you know. I mean, especially if they want to keep a lot of their customers. I mean, the company Uber as a whole has not had a good track record, okay, financially. Their financials are, like, horrible, okay? Um, if they want that to improve, then they need to um, – marketing is the key. You know, they better um, revamp. If they want to revamp something, they, they want to revamp their marketing team. Okay, get them out there marketing something that the people actually want, that people actually want, okay? And, and I'm not talking about all this Uber cash and all this other. I'm talking about people, something that people actually want. People, people want cash back. People want travel rewards and points. These are things that people want, okay? All this other crap that they came out with there, people, a lot of people don't want that. Uh, Uber Eats is great, okay? It's great, but I can do better than Uber Eats with just Postmates. I can get more value out of that. I get more cash back, more discounts, more value out of that and get the same thing, okay? I can get more cash back than Uber Eats can Okay, so I mean, Uber better come up with a. Uh, they, they better revamp their whole, revamp revamp the whole Uber system, the, the reward system, the credit card system, um, the ride system is okay. Okay, I mean, yeah, you're paying, uh, uh, you paying, you 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 may pay a, a, an extra dollar or two for a ride, you know, through Uber. That's okay if you're not traveling far. Then those dollars add up to more dollars. Um, but I, I mean, you know, the quality of is pretty good. Okay, the quality is pretty good. Um, and um, but um, as anything more than that, I would have to say, you know, they they really the Uber company as a whole needs to uh, do a total complete revamp. Okay, and, and I think the problem with Uber is uh, when I'm looking at their, their Uber card, the way they revamped it, they're pretty much not thinking of the customer. They're not thinking of the customer. They're more thinking of Uber. They're thinking too much about Uber. They're thinking too much about themselves. But what they don't realize is for the company to make more money, they have to put the customers, you know, make the customers somewhat of a priority. Okay, because if they don't, it's the customers that keep the doors open every day. It's the customers that keep the lights on to those fancy offices. It's the customers that actually, um, you know, buy stocks in the company. It's the customers that do a lot for the company to make the company be a successful company. Uh, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so. Janelle was saying, just like how Capital One keeps sending me these mails, offers, because they want me to apply for the card, but I got denied, uh, but they still send me that pre-qualified. Yeah. She's got another one today. And she just got every another one day. today. Like every day, every single day, she's getting these offers yeah. from, there's another one she's just holding up there. Yeah. Every um, day. Every single day. And... <clears throat> You know, they just like they never stop. Critical Thinker says, Lyndon, I've read that just prior to the 2008 recession, banks and card issuers started to either cancel cards or reduce limits. If they start to do so again, it's a clear sign a recession is near. Yeah, I would have to agree with that, uh, Critical Thinker, because certain patterns um do repeat themselves you know did you know was saying yeah that's a good look there good move um that she's glad you didn't go for it yeah um uber's card definitely not worth it 
You know what I mean? I know they talk about five five X points and all that. I, I did the net run and numbers, got my calculator out and everything. At first, I was a little bit excited about that. Oh, wow, five time points. Okay. But then when I added up all the numbers and stuff and I compared it to lift, I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. That's all you guys got? I mean, seriously? I could do a lot better with lift and their reward system, right? But anyway, I'm going to share that, those secrets with you in the next live stream tomorrow. Make sure you tune in for our special Thanksgiving Day uh, dinner celebration and live stream. Uh, Critical Thinker says, I hope Amex does what you state because as long as Chase is on top, and not losing clients, they will maintain the status quo. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, as long as they're on top. Janelle says, I can't believe we all are still here. LOL, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I still don't believe it either. Pink Lady says, wow, three hours. Yep, it's been three hours. So like I was saying earlier, I mean, I don't have to get up early to go to work in the morning or nothing. So I'm happy to, you know, stay on with you guys um, and answer questions and things like that. You're going to do it. <laughs> yeah, Janelle says, yeah, I'm going to do it. Yeah, going to do it. I don't do this uh, too often, if you notice. If you guys have been on the live streams with us, um, I don't normally smoke cigarettes hardly ever on the live stream, but I have done it. In case you guys uh, noticed before, yeah, I have smoked cigarettes in uh, live streams before. Wait, you got to do what you got to do. It's been over three hours. Yeah, Janelle's saying you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, it's been three hours, so it's about time for that cigarette, <laughs> you know. So, yeah, Janelle's saying, yeah, it's good because we love you all. Yeah, we love you all, and we're definitely happy to have all of you guys here in the live chat with us pink lady was saying a new record question mark um uh, i don't know pink lady i don't think so no because <coughs> we had another live stream that we did i believe it was on the fourth Four the fourth of july weekend um the record was what well how long was it to know over four hours i don't know if it was over four hours we but did one over four hours uh, okay, maybe maybe it was over four hours. I'm not sure, but I know it was over three hours. It was almost four hours. It was like three hours and 48 minutes or something like that. I think that was the longest. Well, we're uh, going to break the record tonight. We're going to do it. Live stream. We'll break the record tonight. Um, Critical Thinkers says we are we all going to do is wake up in a few hours, eat and watch football. Yeah, you got a good point there, uh, Critical Thinker. Yeah, I believe I think you're right. You know, that's all we're gonna do is get up and eat. I, we'll probably be eating all day over here for sure. Janelle says uh, yes, definitely, and also joining us on our Thanksgiving live stream in a few hours. Yep. We don't know what time it's going to be, but we're definitely going to give us enough time to finish. I have to finish, um, you know, doing the metadata on this live stream, and then I'd have to uh, get the live stream ready, get all the content together for the live stream tomorrow, and um, yeah, get everything all set up and ready to go. And we got to eat here, and you know. Do what we normally do. Um, yep, we love hanging out with you too. Also, Pink Lady, thank you so much for being a part of the live stream. Janelle says, love hanging out with my fam as well. Yes. Especially holiday time. Especially holiday time. Yeah, you know, we've done a few live streams on holidays too. Um, birthday on um, birthdays, July. like 4th of July. Well, July. we did. Well, you guys probably already know we did a live stream last week. Wednesday was Janelle's birthday. We did a live stream and a birthday celebration for her. 
That was my best one birthday. Birthday, and we also did a Fourth of July live stream. Around Fourth of July. Uh, around Fourth of July, and we also did a what was that holiday again? Not, I can't remember. Not Mardi Gras. I can't. I don't know why I keep thinking of Mardi Gras. It's in Labor Day. Yeah, okay, we did one for La Labor Day. We also did a live stream for Cinco de Mayo. Around that time. Um, what other Memorial. live streams? Huh? What's that? Memorial Day? Around Memorial Day. Yeah, we Day. did a live stream around Memorial Day, around that time, too, also. So, yeah, holidays. Oh, yeah, Panda and Bridget's birthday, too. Yeah, and Panda and Bridget's birthdays. We also did live streams. Um. So, yeah, we've done so many different – did a live stream on my birthday, too, also. Um, so, yeah, we also did a live stream around Dwayne's birthday, Dwayne from How to Build Credit TV. We did a, you know, um, happy birthday uh, birthday wish uh, live yeah, stream for my, Dwayne. My mom, too, and my daughter, too. And uh, Janelle's mom, we did a live stream around that, and Janelle's daughter, too. So, yeah. Um, holidays, we just love holidays here on this channel for sure. We we love them. We're, we're thinking that um, Christmas is probably going to be our first uh, Christmas live stream that we'll ever do. It'll be after. Yeah. Because I don't know if Christmas will fall on a Wednesday. Uh, I don't think Christmas falls on a Wednesday, does it? I don't know. We've got to look at the calendar for that. We're not sure if. Um, any other holidays fall on a Wednesday or not? Uh, Janelle says, I'm on my fifth cup of my hazelnut cafe coffee. Oh, wow. Your fifth cup? Well, I haven't even finished my first cup yet. But I, I'm getting ready to have another cup of coffee pretty soon. Roses for yeah. me says, at how to get an 800 credit score. Customers should be able to to choose their perks or rewards. I don't like Amex annual fee of $150 from $95 a year. Chase 524 should remain loyal to the customer. Yeah, yeah, I believe that. Um, they should remain loyal to the customer, especially uh, for the fact that these customers, they're choosing to uh, put Chase first. That's what they're doing. They're making Chase a priority. All these people are making Chase a priority, right? Putting Chase first, right? So if Chase is number one, I mean, why the customers are not number one, right? Well, why the customers can't be number one too? Why you can't treat the customer just as good as the customers treat you? That's what I don't understand. You know what I mean? Don't, don't tell them that, oh, you know, we're going to raise your annual fee. You got to pay $100 more, but you have to accept a uh, credit that we don't care if you use it or not. We don't care if you, you never dine out or you love groceries. You, you better take it anyway if you want to be a Chase customer. And if you don't like it, oh, well, hit the road. Right? I, I don't think that's fair. I don't think that's right. You know what I mean? I really don't think that's right. I don't think that's a a nice way of treating your customers. I don't think that's a nice way of um, showing your appreciation for customers putting your um, your organization first. I, I don't really, really don't think that's um, nice of them to do that. Uh, yeah, and I don't like... Um, it either how they raise the annual fee to $150, but <clears throat> I think that's a little different though, Roses, for me, because with the American Express green card, right, um, the way it was before with the $95 annual fee, it really didn't have much value to it, except the fact that it's a charge card, you know, uh, but besides that, it really didn't have much value, right? It was like, Almost, I would say maybe almost the worst credit card that American Express had, right? Uh, but now um, you can get some credits um, on there. And it's mainly, I believe that, in my opinion, I believe the American Express green card is for the type of customer that does not travel a lot, 
right? Um, may not want the Chase Sapphire Reserve credit card because they don't travel as much, right? Maybe two, three times a year. I believe the Chase, the American Express green card is for that specific type of customer that travels two or three times per year, okay? Um, that way they can utilize those credits and those credits will actually mean something to them, right? Besides just being able to use it two or three times. So if you're going to use it two or three times and that's for the special customer that only travels two or three times a year. For anyone else that travels more than that, that credit probably doesn't have much value at all, really. They're better off going with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. Uh, which they can get a limited use of that credit or those credits, right? Um, so, but they really did a, you know, they did an okay job on revamping that American Express green card. You know, they put some benefits on there and they didn't just, they just say, well, okay, we're raising your annual fee, uh, what is that? Sixty dollars, almost sixty dollars. Right, fifty-five. We're raising your annual fee fifty-five dollars a year, but we're not giving you any benefits. They didn't say that, right? They're giving them a hundred-dollar benefit for the baggage thing, baggage uh, program, and then they're giving them another hundred dollars credit uh, for the um, what did you call that? TSA? No, clear. The Clear uh, program, right? So basically, a lot of those uh, credits or additional benefits that they offer through the American Express Green Card um, actually are a supplement to the Chase Sapphire Reserve credit card. Okay, which is kind of ingenious marketing on American Express's part uh, because they figure that although the Chase Sapphire Reserve customers, you know, have those um, benefits uh, like the TSA and the global uh, pre-check and all that stuff. Um, they they realize that with Declare, you know, it, it kind of works together with the Chase Sapphire Reserve because you can go, you can get past the ID part of the security. Um, which you need to get past first, basically in the airport. And also you, you're going to get past uh, the metal detector too also as well and the the baggage part with your Chase Sapphire Reserve, right? So you're going to skip through all those lines, you know. So uh, American Express, you know, pretty much has a smart marketing team with that is concerned. You know, they didn't really just say, well, okay, we're just going to copy – the Chase Sapphire Reserve and just copy and paste it over here to a, a, a new American Express card. <laughs> they, they didn't do that. You know, they uh, created something that can work together with the Chase Sapphire Reserve. So that way they can have access to some Chase customers still. You know, they can still have access to Chase customers. Yeah, Paul. But uh, yeah, Pink Lady saying um, I'm a tea drinker. Cheers, yeah, cheers, Pink Lady. Enjoy your tea over there. Critical thinker, he agrees with roses for me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I believe so. I, I there is a way. Uh, if you're part of military, you that you do not have to pay like an annual fee. Some of them, yeah. There's some of them you don't have to do that. Yeah, some of them you don't. <laughs> so that, that could be very beneficial, you know, to you if you're military um, because you could just have a lot of those annual fees waived, you know. Yeah, cheers to you also, Pink Lady. And Gary Bluen says, all right, I got to go way late. Have a great Thanksgiving, everyone. And to how to get an 800 credit score, Lyndon and Janelle, Pink Lady. Yeah, thank you so much for stopping by, uh, Gary. Appreciate you too also as well. Happy Thanksgiving. Roses for me says uh, I'm a formal 
federal employee. My family is military. Good info. Thanks. Yeah, appreciate that, Brion. Thank you for sharing the info. And good night, Gary Bluen. Thank you for being with us here, and happy Thanksgiving from Janelle. Critical Thinker says you too. Cornell says PenFed is taking care of me. Gave me a $65,000 auto loan. Wow, that's awesome. And $25,000 personal loan helps my situation real good. Yeah, I heard a lot of good things about PenFed. I heard they're awesome too. And I mean, you don't have to be a military member or ex-military or a family or roommate that's military. Any kind of affiliation in the military, I don't believe to uh, become a member of PenFed. So that's a good thing. And you have all the benefits of being a part of our credit union uh, too also as well, okay. sure. which is just sure. awesome because a lot of credit unions tend to give out higher credit limits uh, than banks do. Sure. Sure. Uh, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I heard good things about PenFed too, Brion. Uh, Critical Thinker says he appreciates us both. Don't want to keep you all up much longer, but you guys spoil us. <laughs> we try to we try to spoil you guys as much as we can, hey, you know? I already made a comment down there about that, too. Roses for me says, my time is my own. My calendar is almost full for 2020 with D. Wade next month, Elton John in May 2020. Oh, wow. Awesome. You going to all those concerts there, Roses for me? Going. going skydiving. 14,000 feet, free falling at 120 miles per hour, gun range, etc. Wow, you're going to have a very exciting, you have a very exciting life there, Roses, for me. Very yeah. interesting. Very exciting. It's awesome. Um, You ever thought about making your own YouTube channel, Roses, for me? Because I think that would be an awesome YouTube channel because your life is so interesting. I think you would do well with a YouTube channel. I mean, just talking about, you know, the skydiving or something like that. <clears throat> you know, if you could, like, shoot a video with your cell phone or something like that. Or have someone shoot a video while you're skydiving. Or, you know, or at the gun range, you know, someone's shooting a video about that. That would be awesome. And Ronald Anderson says, if you do one tonight, I will be with you. I will be there. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that. Also, give a thumbs up, people. Uh, hit the like button for Ronald Anderson, for sure, one of our veterans. I really appreciate you, Ronald, uh, too, also as well. Cornell, Mr. Mentor Freeman says, I plan to keep my relationship with Penn Fed. Yeah, I, I believe that's a good uh, look there. That's a good idea. Keep that relationship going with them. They're definitely a great credit union. Uh, <clears throat> Janelle says, uh, thank you. Linden don't work, so we want to spend time with you all, LOL, but you know how we are and what we do. Yep, yep, for sure, for sure. Roses for me is saying, call the police. Pen Fed will be taking care of me soon. Also, I'm opening an account with them next, my next vehicle. Ford F-150 Black. Yeah, that's definitely a good look there. Uh, roses for me. Ford M Ford F-150? Yeah, that's an awesome truck to have for sure. Love those trucks. Um, wow, girl, you're full of life and busy, Janelle says. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Roses says, uh, I have to stay busy and intellectually stimulated. Skydiving is a bucket list item. India, Dubai. Dubai next year. I helped build a school in India 2018. I'm single, so I do what I want. I hear that. Janelle says, uh, hey, Ronald, we're definitely doing live stream on Thanksgiving Day as well. It's our way of sharing and being thankful for all of you with us and being a part of our lives. Yes, uh, very well said there, uh, Janelle, for sure. Thank you, too. Rose, I know. I know it's the truth, Janelle. I you know. You know how I am. Yep. Roses says, uh, my dad always said, what man will be able to keep up with you? I haven't found one yet. Time waits for <laughs> no man, and neither does a good woman is my motto. Hey. 
Her dad right. Nell says your dad is agree. right. She agrees with you there, Roses. She says go for it. That's so often, and they they offered you that position. Yep, sure, sure is. Um, Brion was a contractor, and Balad and Al Assad wasn't too bad. Good money. I hear that. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. Um, sounds like you know good money there when you're going that far overseas for sure. Roses for me says that how to get an 800 credit score. Lyndon, my attorney said, no social media for me. My life, etc., is private. If Bob wants me to come and do an appearance on his video live, I will. I promised him. Okay, awesome, awesome. Um, yeah, I got another thing for you guys, right? Um, maybe for those people who left the live stream already, because I know it is getting late. Uh, they may miss uh, this, but if you guys uh, run into any one of them, you know, maybe on other YouTube channels or social media groups or something like that, definitely let them know that um, we want to invite you guys, okay, to be guests here on our channel. In other words, I will um, interview you here on this, on this live stream live with us as a guest and basically we want to talk about like a uh, credit card that you got approved for uh, like I believe someone said he got approved for the Chase Sapphire Preferred tonight and, and now like um, Cornell has said you know he got what was it twenty five thousand dollar from a personal loan from Penn Fed and a sixty five thousand um, dollar Auto loan too. Also, I believe that sixty five thousand dollar auto loan. Maybe that could get you. I'm not sure, but if I'm wrong, let me know. I think that can get you a Tesla. I believe. Uh, but yeah, um, if any one of you, uh, you're welcome to be a guest here and talk about some good news. You know, for sure, for sure. Uh, we want to, you know, incorporate that into our channel uh, too also. So that way, you know, sharing good news, good credit news like that, you know, it helps other people um, also as well and gives them motivation, gives all of us motivation too um, as well. And it's a good thing, you know, to share good news, uh, you know, um, and when I look through a lot of the Facebook credit groups that's out there, and there are some great Facebook credit groups, guys. Um, there is one that um, I'm in. Well, I'm in maybe a few of them. You know, besides our own credit group, How to Get Excellent Credit on Facebook. The link is also in the description if you'd like to join our Facebook group. Um, but by the way, um, the credit building team, is an awesome Facebook credit group. I know I've talked a lot about the credit building team here in our live streams here on this channel too also as well. Um, so, you know, because they just come up a lot because they talk a lot about credit, the building credit. They talk a lot about um, credit repair, okay? For those of you who have questions about credit repair, uh, about how to uh, delete hard inquiries. Uh, they have um, different systems of doing that. You know, um, they have one called the FTC method. You know, they have another one, uh, uh, several other ones, uh, ways of deleting uh, or, or disputing. I should say disputing hard inquiries because it's not a guarantee, a 100% uh, guaranteed thing. Uh, to where they can just say, oh, it's guaranteed that we can delete your hard inquiries. No, it's not 100% guaranteed, but they can, they have some of the methods, okay, that you can use, right? Uh, some of the techniques that you can use um, to go about disputing hard inquiries, okay? And some people have actually been successful getting a lot of them deleted, right? But like I said, again, it's not a guaranteed thing, 100%, because I've I've tried some of those methods, and, you know, for me, 
it doesn't work. And I'm not about to go and file a false police report or do anything like that. I'm not saying that's what they do on a credit building team because they don't. They don't do any of that shady stuff. I'm just saying some people in other places, right, I won't say their names, that's what they do, okay? They go out and they guarantee people and they say, yeah, we can we, we can guarantee to delete your hard inquiries. That's what they say. They give them guarantee. And all they do is they go out and they commit fraud, okay? They do things that can put their customers into prison, into federal prison for a very long time, okay? And they are not held liable because their customers sign a contract with them and release them from liability. So uh, the company is not the one going to prison, but they're the ones that can go to prison for fraud, okay, for filing false police reports and stating that, you know, some identity fraud took place when in all, in all actuality, no identity fraud took place, you know, and they're just lying um, just to simply get a, a, a hard inquiry deleted, you know, which is fraud it is basically what it is. It's fraud, you know, and, and filing false release police reports are, is a crime. That's what it is. And yes, they can go to prison for that. Um, so, but, but the things they want to ask themselves, you know, is it worth going to prison, uh, just to get a hard inquiry, uh, deleted off your credit report? Is it really worth it? Yeah. Would you rather have your freedom and have, um, an inquiry on your credit report? Uh, would you rather be in prison and have your credit, your hard inquiry deleted off your credit report? Remember when you're in credit when you're in prison, you can't really use your credit cards, right? <laughs> so how is that uh that Chase Sapphire Reserve gonna help you in prison? What are you gonna do with it? Right? What are you gonna do with it? I mean, if you can do stuff with it, I guess in prison you can get use use a phone and you can send yourself money in prison. I guess there's some things that you can do, you know. I don't know, but me, myself, I would choose freedom. And I'm not talking chase freedom either. I'm talking about freedom, freedom from prison. Janelle says, that's great. Yeah, that's awesome that you would um, come there and do an appearance there on Bob's channel there, Roses. That would be awesome. If you do do that, I would definitely want to watch that video for sure. Definitely, definitely for sure. Yeah. So Janelle was saying uh, uh, thank you to Cornell, and we appreciate you as well. You were the very first one to come on the live stream on that day. We started seven months ago. Yep. Yeah. You're definitely the first one, and we appreciate you so, 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 so very much. I think Pink Lady brought you by me. Okay, so I think some of you probably fell asleep already. We've been up for a while now, so I guess what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna break a record. Well, I know. I know. First to what? I know. I uh, really appreciate all 16 of you staying with us for the long haul here tonight, but I don't think we're going to break a record tonight. No. I know. I know. Maybe, hey, we got plenty of live streams to do. Uh, we'll break a record we'll someday. Too, someday. Someday. Right? Uh, but we'll be on again um, later on today for our special Thanksgiving Day live stream. And our Thanksgiving dinner, we will be sharing with you guys our credit card family, uh, too, also as well. Uh, so uh, I'm going to check in the comments, see if there's any I other. Right away. Cornell says he's wide awake. Okay, Ronald's appreciate right that, awake. brother. Ronald's right awake. Cornell's right awake. Oh, a lot of you, a lot critical of you thinkers here. are critical thinker is here. They don't want to go. Wow. <laughs> <I think laughs> yeah, so. I don't know if you guys, you know what? 
do any of you guys want to come on as a guest? I mean, if you have an email address, I can uh, send you an invite oh boy. Uh, through via email, okay, to your email account. Have you guys come on here as a guest um, in our live stream here? And, you know, we could talk We could talk about something great about credit, like uh, you got approved for a credit card or like in Cornell's situation. Um, Pen Fed has been very good to him. We could talk about that, or we could talk about Navy Federal. We could talk about you know the chase cards or whatever it is. If you guys like to come on as a guest, just uh, let me know. We can do that if you guys want to stay on longer and um, try to break a record. You know. Oh, Janelle, I think you spelled Pink Lady's name wrong. I know, Jit Gogi. It's not Punk Lady. It's <laughs> <laughs> the first time she called me the first time. I did that on purpose. Janelle, what are you doing to her name? She knows. I'm getting you see what she did, Pink Lady? She, oh, that's not nice. Janelle, don't misspell someone's name like that. Pink Lady, I love you. You know I don't mean that. I know, but me, I'm just as guilty as Janelle. Okay, and Dwayne's live stream on Monday. You want to hear what I did? Okay, called Diana. I called him Diane. He okay, by her. accident. By accident. I meant to type Dwayne, but then it just came out wrong, and it said Diane, right? And I'm like, wait a minute. When somebody brought that to my attention, and, and Janelle was like, hey, babe, you, you know you called Dwayne Diane? And I'm like, oh, and my goodness. I can't Canadian believe I called the man Diane. I was like, oh, man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You know, pink lady coming at you, you Diane. Yeah, I think it was you, uh, pink lady, who uh, let me know that I called Dwayne, um, Diane, and I'm like, I can't believe I called it that man, uh, Diane. Yes, I am calling you. That's a pink shame. Lady. Yes, I am. <laughs> yep. Uh, Critical thinker says I need to learn from you guys and others more before I do so. The life thing. For a live, for a, to be a guest. Yeah. Know? Oh, okay. Well, yeah, yeah. He he wants to learn. A lot of people want to learn for it before. No critical thinker. That's okay. You know, but just keep in mind though. You know, if you ever get any like good credit news, like say, you got approved for a new credit card, or you get approved for a new loan or line of credit. Are you just excited about a new credit card that you just got? Move it for me. Right. Or you got a credit limit increase, you know, you could uh, definitely be a guest on our channel for any one of those reasons, okay? For any one of those reasons, you could definitely be a guest on this channel for sure. I can do this for uh, Roses for me says, at how to get an 800 credit score. I'm up all night, every night until 7 a.m., Janelle, how are the cats? Okay, are you one. cooking? You, one. Okay, Janelle has one there. For, that's Bridget. Bridget's okay. She's right there. She's wide awake too. Um, are you cooking? Yeah, we're cooking today, but we're, we're not. Ham. We're not having turkey this year. We're having ham. We're having ham this year. So all of you guys are welcome. And also, if you're watching this video on the replay. You're welcome to join us for Thanksgiving dinner uh, later on today. Oh. Here on this channel, we're having a special Thanksgiving Day live stream today. Um, we're going to have dinner with you guys, you know, that are willing, that's going to be on here joining us. Yeah, that's I'm Panda, by the way, joining with us. And um, you guys can enjoy the yeah. Thanksgiving Day celebration uh, with us, too. So we consider you guys family. So keep that in mind. Okay. Um, you guys are hilarious, Rosa said. Dwayne as Diane. It's okay to make a mistake. No, the cat don't fight. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Critical thinker asked that question. Oh, okay. Yeah, the cats now nah, they don't they don't they they get along pretty well. They they when just when they're younger, they kind of get they fight. wrestle, you know, they wrestle. That's what they do. They they wrestle like every Every other day or every day, they wrestle a lot, you know. And Panda tries to take down Bridget. Bridget tries sometimes. She runs from him because you know he's a big cat. Uh, Panda, he's a big cat, you know. 
and um, he eats a lot. He, he has a bigger appetite than Bridget does. Oh, Bubba, uh, so you Bridget's a lot skinnier uh, than he is. If you can eat, um, I don't know what breed he is. I, I don't know what I don't remember what breed he is. I know they told us when we first got him when he was a kitten, but I don't remember like, right like what breed of cat he is. But I mean, he was a cute little thing when we got him. I mean, when I first seen him. In the pet store, I was like, I said to myself, I said to Janelle, oh, we got to get him. We got to get him. Because he was just so cute, friend. like sitting up there in the cage. Just, you know? He was my birthday present. He was Janelle's birthday present. What was last it? Last like? year. Last year. Janelle's and birthday too. last year. And Bridget. So she got Bridget and Panda for her birthday. So, you know, I just thought of it as a way, you know, she could have something nice for her birthday, you know? I need um, a companionship while you're at work. So I can't be lonely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So um, yeah, they 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 pretty pretty much follow her around like all day. You, you got that right, pink lady. All day they follow her around, especially Panda. He's a mama's boy. That's 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 Panda, all day every day. There, he's a mama's boy. He just follows her yeah, around. Pretty. Like all the time, you know. Show him where you at. And he's yeah up there. He is right there up there on top of the blanket. I don't know if you can he's see right that here. leopard blanket that we got there. He's up there, just Bridget? laying there. Sugar and her. So yeah. um, yeah, good Bridget. Look. Yeah, Bridget's under the TV. So yeah, I mean, guys, um, that's something that we would do, you know. We invite, you know, some of you on as a live guest, and we could have more than one person too as a live guest too. Also, it doesn't have to be only one person. It could be like two, three, four. We could have up to six people at one time, and also we can have more than that. But at one time, we can only have six. So. We can have seven or eight, but that means six people would be on at a time. And then the other two, you know, can yes, come in whenever, on here. anytime, you know. Um, yeah, Janelle was saying she can't believe that we have 15 people still on here with us. But we appreciate you guys uh, sticking uh, with us all this time, too, also, by the way. And. You, you know, like if you haven't already, here. definitely hit the thumbs up button. Give this uh, video a like. It's like we're sitting it here helps like a family YouTube gathering. Spread the video, put it in front of more people. And Janelle was saying what? that it's we like having a family, like a family gathering. Yeah. Know we can't see each other, but <laughs> yeah, I guess it is like a family gathering. You know, even though we can't see each other, like Janelle was saying, it's like a, a family gathering. We kind of like it. You know, it's cool. Appreciate that. Awesome. Yeah, and Janelle says thank you to all of you who uh, participated in Janelle's birthday that party one. slash celebration last week, Wednesday, uh, when we did the ever. unboxing of the what Target. card was the Target red card credit card that she got approved for too. Also, Ricky Glenn says Pen Fed. How is the process? I'm a member of. Pen fed. Okay, well, pretty much you want to ask um, Cornell. Cornell, that's a good question for you, Cornell. How is the process? Um, Ricky Glenn says he's a member of Pen Fed too, also. So there you go. We have two members of Pen Fed there Ricky Glenn and Cornell, Mr. Mentor Freeman. So also, both of you guys are members of Penn Fred. That's awesome. Well, hopefully, I'll be a member of Navy Federal Credit Union soon. Yeah. You know, hopefully. I know that thing. Up. Fingers crossed. You know, Critical Thinker was had a question. I don't. For I you, don't know. I know. I you can ask me. But I don't know. I won't know until I get. Oh, okay. Janelle says she would not know until she actually gets the card. But and if they don't tell you that in the car, you probably just can just call them up, you know. I don't and know. You know, I, I'm saying when you get the car, you can probably just call them up and because I know credit card issuers have rules about certain cards, 
You know, I know for my Discover It credit card, I can have more than one Discover It credit card, you know, at one time. I can, I believe I can have two or three. I don't know if I can have more than that, but I've heard of people having several Discover It credit cards. Actually, Axebi, um, he's got more than one credit card from the same from from the same credit card issuers too. George David Amex King. And so does Amer Amex King. I mean David Amex King Moss, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, but I know Ax Sebi does. Um and uh Wise Flies he does. He has several Chase Inc. uh business cards. And I mean, you can do that, you know, as far as the business credit cards, it may be easier if you open up multiple businesses, you know, um, it may be easier to do as far as the business cards are concerned, right? As far as the personal cards are concerned, uh, depending on the issuer, okay? Because some credit card issuers may allow you to do that. And then again, some credit card issuers may not allow that. Critical Thinker says some stores uh, won't allow you to have both cards. Yeah, that's true. Like my pedal card will not allow me to have another pedal card. Okay. That's just their rules, right? Because I've tried that. Yeah, I tried to... Uh, I didn't apply, put in an actual credit application, but what I did was I tested it on their pre-approval site for the pedal card. Oh, yeah, and again, people, um, the pedal card, if you're interested, they also give out high credit limits too also as well. They give out up to $10,000 in credit limit for the pedal credit card. So if you're interested in that, you can definitely go to the pedal card pre-approval site you can just google pedal pre pre-qualify in google and it would in google and it would take you to the pedal card pre-approval or pre-qualify site and then it will not hurt your credit score to check and see if you're pre-approved for a pedal card um but um you can there's chances you can get approved for a pedal card and if you do they offer high credit limits okay like I said, you can get up to $10,000 in credit limit. And now I do not have any referral link for them at all. I, I don't have no affiliate links whatsoever uh, for them um, because Pedal does not have any referral programs. They don't. Um, they just solely rely on word of mouth and people's experiences with the card to so they rely on the credit card to pretty much advertise itself um you know um so it, it's it's a good card uh to have you know for the high credit limit um to add to your arsenal of high credit limit credit cards uh, so it definitely wouldn't hurt hurt to try that pedal uh card pre-approval site and by the way, if you do happen to, um, you know, sign up for their pre-approval site at the pedal card, let me know how is your experience with it. And by the way, if you need some more information on the pedal card and the details of the card, what it has to offer, the application process, um, we have like two videos on the pedal card here on this channel. Uh, the first video I have is my approval. Uh, of getting approved of the credit card, of the pedal card, uh, too, also. Uh, that was a few months ago. And then after that, I made a follow-up video on my experience with the pedal card after four months. Um, that video, you can definitely check out. That's on this channel, too, also, as well. Pink Lady says, uh, does PenFed pull your credit report if you open an account with them? That's a great question there, Pink Lady. I don't know that off the top of my I head. I don't know which account goes like. Right? Uh, but I do know some credit unions do that, okay. right? And um, by the way, we also have a video here on this channel, uh, Pink Lady, and whoever else wants to know 
about what credit union or what banks do hard pulls or soft pulls when you open a checking account or savings account, we have that video here on this channel too also as well. Uh, so you definitely want to check out that video. Very informational. A lot of information. It tells you, it has a long list there of what um, credit cards do a hard pull when you open up a, a checking account and what um, banks do a soft pull when you open up checking accounts and credit unions too also. It covers both credit unions and banks um, too also as well. We made that video as a part of our series in, um, you know, how to get approved for any credit card. Because basically, you know, you want to know these things um, before you go ahead and, you know, build relationships. You want to know pros and cons of building a relationship uh, with that particular bank. You know what I mean? Um, so that, that's a lot of great, you know, helpful information too. A critical thinker says several of the community cards won't allow you to have their closed loop and open loop cards. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. You mean uh, a lot of them won't allow you to have more than one of the same card is what you're, what you mean, uh, what you're asking, what you're saying there, critical thinker. James Worley, welcome back uh, to our live stream, brother. And Thank you so much for joining us. Happy Thanksgiving, by the way. I hope you're enjoying your holiday. Uh, so if you haven't already, people, please say hello to James Worley. James was just approved for the Amazon for $1,000. Awesome, awesome. Was that the Amazon Prime card, I believe? Awesome. That's, that's good news there, James. And uh, everyone also, please say congratulations to James Worley. He just got approved for Amazon uh, for $1,000. Awesome. Awesome. I just love good news for sure. Critical Thinker says congrats. James Worley. Pink Lady says congrats, James. Janelle says congrats also as well. Janelle wants to know which account. She can't check it again. I'm looking. Okay. Yeah. Janelle's trying to look up that information, um, for you, uh, Hold on, babe. Pass me my blue phone, my, my blue cell phone, my other cell phone. Yeah, because that information is in my other cell phone. I know we did make a live stream uh, topic about that, but How I can. Do do when we have no um, Wi Fi. I can get that information uh, for you, pink lady. As soon as Janelle gets my other, my old cell phone. Critical Thinker says. Jared has a pre-qualify on their website at the bottom of the page. If approved, you would get the card either through Comenity Bank or Genesis. I was approved via Genesis. Okay, awesome. Awesome. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, yeah, I'm going to um, pretty much uh, go on my old cell phone because I have the information there. All right. And then maybe I can um, share that with you. So in case you guys missed the video <clears throat> that we made about uh, what banks do hard pulls and soft pulls for opening up checking accounts, <clears throat> then I'll be able to share that with you guys also as well. Okay, where's my Wi-Fi? Oh, Why are you password. Oh, no. Because I'm trying to get the information off of here. How are you getting the information off that we never use that phone? Because through Wi-Fi, babe. Through Wi-Fi. Oh, okay, okay. I, I know where to find this. Okay. <clears throat> Let me see here. Let me just uh just for you for you, pink lady. I'm looking. Okay. 
So I'm looking right now to see if they have, yep, they do. Yep, they do. Okay. So I'm going to actually have to share my screen with you guys so that way you guys can see this. And Pink Lady, I hope you're watching because I'm going to share my screen so that way you can see this information here. Some of the information that we had shared in the live stream when we talked about uh, banks uh, and credit unions that do hard pulls and soft pulls. Okay, so if you can see my screen clearly, just go ahead and type the number one inside of the comments. Again, if you can see the screen clearly, just go ahead and type the number one inside of the comments. So basically, this is an article here from Hustler Money Blog, uh, hustlermoneyblog.com. And uh, it's talking about here banking and saving soft pull or hard pull 2019 edition. This is the most recent article from August 16, 2019. Now, there are some other articles online uh, covering um, this same topic here. And uh, so let's get straight down here into the list. All right, here's top bank accounts, soft pull or hard pull. And uh, okay. So there's a pretty long list there. Very, very, very long list. So, okay. So this is, it just says hard, okay, hard pull or soft pull. Okay, so it tells you which banks do a hard pull, which banks do a soft pull according to this list, okay? It's going to cover banks and credit unions too also. Uh, you got First Constitution Bank, Mariners Bank, First Soft Bank, First Credit Union Bank. These are all soft pulls. Okay, hard pulls. A, a plus credit, Achieva. Okay, and some. Let me, let me just call out the hard pulls because the soft pulls really don't <laughs> affect. They do not affect your credit scores. Uh, Advantage Credit Union, Adventure. Let's see who else does. Mixed Ally Bank does a mixed pull. So they do maybe a hard and a soft pull. Ultra Federal Credit Union does a hard pull. Okay, who else does a hard pull? American First Credit Union, American Heritage Federal Credit Union. Who else? Let's see. American Airlines Credit Union, America's Credit Union. Who else? Mixed Credit Union, Andrews Federal Credit Union does a hard pull. And APG Federal Credit Union does a hard pull as well. Arizona Bank and Trust. No, that's a soft pull. Arizona Central Credit Union. See who else? Ascend Federal Credit Union. Any other hard pulls here on the list? Okay, scrolling down, scrolling down. BBT does a mixed, um, mixed pull. Belco Benchmark Federal Credit. Blue Federal does a mixed pull. Uh, BMI Federal Credit Union. Let's see who else? Yeah, California Coast Credit Union. Campus USA Credit Union. Uh, CEF, CU is a mixed pool. Charles Schwab. Okay, there you go, uh, people. Charles Schwab, they do a hard pull, and they also do a soft pull. Okay. Christian Community Credit Union does a mixed pool. SinFed Credit Union does a hard pull. Okay, so there are so many banks here on the list, guys. Uh, did someone... Oh. By the way, people, uh, Janelle just informed me uh, recently. Uh, Pink Lady informed Janelle and, and Critical Thinker informed too. Critical we Thinker let us know too also that we have just now uh, broken a record for our live streams. Now we're at four hours and three minutes and two seconds. Um, so... Um, I guess this is something to be happy about here, guys, to celebrate. So happy Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving people, and um, thank you for joining us on this Thanksgiving day. Um, yeah, you still got a lot of people asking questions. So someone wanted to know, uh, the question was, um, does PenFed do a hard pull or a soft pull? Okay, so let's just scroll down here 
to Penn Fed. Okay, because there's so many different banks and credit unions out there, guys. We could just be on this list forever. So I'm just gonna um scroll all the way down to Penn Fed and we're gonna just check them out and see if they do like hard pull or soft pull, or even if they're even on this list. Huh. I don't see them here. Why are they not here on the list? There's not that many banks here on the the P and the P it's PNC Bank, but no, that's not the same as Penn Fed. Okay, well that's really strange. I don't know why they don't have Penn Fed. Penn Fed is really a uh, very popular credit union for them not to have them here on the list. That really sucks. But um, this is some of the information that we had covered in that live stream when we talked about um, banks that do hard pulls versus soft pulls for opening a checking account. But I couldn't find it, unfortunately. It's not on their list of uh, credit unions that they cover on their site there. Janelle says... Yeah, she got yeah, she got denied for the Amazon. But the reason why she got denied, it was kind of weird though, because they were saying uh that they could not find her her account or her applicate her accounts. Yeah. So it's kind of really weird. Or her application, they couldn't even find it. I mean I don't know. I agree, but weird. Pink Lady says a, a checking. It was a checking account. Yeah, I know. Uh, what what bank? What bank? What bank? He, Talking about PenFed. Oh, you're yeah. still talking about PenFed. Oh, okay. I'm still working on it. Critical Thinker says so. Does K Jewelers? Does K Jewelers do a, a pre-approval, pre-qualify? No, he did. Wait. Uh, I'm not Wait, sure. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out uh, what you mean by that. There. Um, Critical thinker, do they do a pre qualify? Have a pre qual? Some of them do have pre qualified size, especially if this part of a uh, community bank. You know, a lot of them do pre qualified sites, All right? But I guess what we, you know, we're planning on doing another video too, as well. Uh, it's about a little trick that you can do, another secret I'm going to share with you guys a little trick you can do to get approved for a credit card, right? But I'm not going to mention it now. I'll save that for a video topic, right? Because that way we save a lot of goodies for you guys for uh, future live streams, okay? Pink Lady saying, who is Canes? I think somebody probably meant, you know, you probably meant to say James, right? I did it again. I did it again. Yep. <laughs> Oops, you did it again. James says Mission Lane approved me for one thousand. Also, wow, Mission Lane never heard of them, but uh, congrats on the approval there, James. So everyone, if you haven't already, please say hell, uh, congratulations to James Worley. He also got approved for Mission Lane for a one thousand dollar credit limit. Roses for me says welcome, James. Congrats on your approval for the Amazon account for one thousand. Awesome, yes, awesome. Thank you, thank you so much, Critical Thinker says, I mentioned a credit card community site earlier that tells you about credit issuers. What was that again? Uh, it's called credit boards. Credit boards. Boards as in uh, a whiteboard or chalkboard, you know, a board of directors. Uh, so the name of it is uh, credit boards. Roses for me says uh, how to get an 800 credit score. Linden creditors and credit card companies are very lenient during the holidays and they try to allow people to get credit cards to spend for Christmas. Yeah, that's a very good uh, marketing strategy on their part, too. Because, I mean, you figure, right, if they allowed more people to get credit cards, um, then more people would be spending money with those credit cards. And, you know, these um, credit card issuers, um, they make money. Yeah, they make money every time you use your credit card. Okay. Yes, every time you use the card, they make money. 
um, through, it's called credit card processing. Um, and they make a, a portion, a percentage, um, every time you swipe your card. Uh, because a lot of uh, merchants are paying to use this service, the credit card process credit card processing um functionality roses for me thank you for letting us know that you can see this the screen came out clear there oh <laughs> janelle's talking about something with pink lady there thank you ronald thank you critical thinker pink lady says hey four hours yep four hours and nine minutes pink lady i think this is a new record for our channel, we never had a live stream go four hours before. Janelle says, I thought Lyndon was bad at misspelling names, but look like I'm bad this time. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, you did it this time, Janelle. Uh, Critical Thinker says, uh, new record, right? Yep. New record uh, there set on Thanksgiving Day. James Worley says, no annual fee. I only apply for no annual fee accounts. Huh, good strategy. Good strategy. Yes, that's another thing. You know, people, if you're going to apply for a credit card that has an annual fee, uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is um, can you <clears throat> meet, uh, can, can you get your value out of that card? <clears throat> can you get more value from that card? then you pay in annual fees every year. That's a question you want to ask yourself um, before you apply for an annual fee credit card. I haven't filled it out, but look. But does it say a credit limit? Not yet, but I still got to finish. That was part of the pre qualify Okay, we'll save that for another live stream. I know. Okay, don't say anything about that. There's, Janelle's got some good news, but I can't share it with you guys because we're saving that for a live stream. I have to wait and see. All right. Uh, Janelle says, yay, we broke the record. Woo-hoo. Yep. Nice. Awesome. Yep. Um, I tried Pink Lady, but uh, I guess on one of <laughs> those sites, they did not mention PenFed, but you know what? I'll go and see because I don't have I can actually pull up the video that we made about the um, the bank accounts, the, the banks uh, that do I hard pulls, soft pulls, right? Um, but Doctor of Credit actually has an article about that too also. Um, so I'm just going to pull up some of the information that he has, right, on that topic. Because I know he did make an article about that, too. So let's see. Hopefully, he organizes information, like, as to where. Okay, here we go. Yep, there's a list. Hold on. Let me look up, see if PenFed is on there. And going down, going down, going down, going down, going down, going down. Almost there to the P's. Okay. So I'm just going to share this, share my screen with you guys one more time. The pink lady, I hope you can see this. Uh, this one is coming from Doctor of Credit. Okay. So, again, if you can see the screen clearly, just go ahead and type the number one. <clears throat> inside of the comments again if you can see the screen clearly uh just go ahead and type the number one inside of the comments so here it says uh okay we just I, what i've done was i scrolled down this very long list of banks and credit unions that do hard and soft pulls and i got down to pen fed and it says here clearly labeled when you open an account in addition we will and this is the exact wording that Dr. Credit is quoting here from the PenFed um, open accounts uh, application to open an account. 
And it says here in small print, in addition, we will obtain a credit report from a consumer reporting agency prior to opening the following. A regular share savings account, a checking account, a money market savings account, all loans and lines of credit, and all credit card products. What you said, babe? Okay. So basically, the short answer to that question there, Pink Lady, is yes, they do a hard pull. Okay. And short sum. Uh, because they're including all of this in the same paragraph, uh, their bank accounts as a uh, credit card product, right? Um, savings, checking account, money market savings, all loans, lines of credit, all credit card products uh, too also as well. So I believe the answer to that question, Pink Lady, is yes, they do a hard pull. Okay, especially if they're um, doing a, a, a hard credit check like that. You know what I mean? They definitely are doing a hard pull if that's what they're, in fact, doing. And DrCredit.com, <clears throat> that is an awesome website. You guys should definitely, <clears throat> if you want to learn a lot about credit, uh, travel rewards, points, all those things, cash back. All of those things, you know, how to make extra money with credit cards and bank accounts, traveling, um, doctorcredit.com is an awesome website um, that you can go to sign up with. <coughs> and um, if you subscribe to doctorcredit.com, they will send you updates on offers that they offer, you know, uh, from credit card issuers, from stores, um, all types of great outstanding offers uh, that you can uh, find out about through uh, just uh, subscribing to doctorofcredit.com. You can, if you want to, you can check their website, you know, frequently to check and see if there's any new offers on there. You know, because a lot of changes happen daily. Like bank, banks, they change their sign-on bonuses. Uh, credit cards change their sign-on bonuses. They change their benefits. I am good. There's a lot of uh, changes going on <coughs> out there, you know, in the banking industry, in the credit card industry, in the loan, loan industry, you know, all these industries. So... Dr. Credit, you know, keeps tabs on all of that. So that way you can keep, you know, keep abreast on what's going on. Can stay in the loop. Critical Thinker says, yeah, I was saying K. Jewel is like Jared has a pre-qualify. Oh, okay. K. Jewelers. Well, that would be interesting if they have that. That would be awesome. And how to get an 800 credit score. What is the link to that list you were just showing? Okay, that was um, – I'll put the link in the com – let me see. What, can I put that in the comment? Yes, I can. I believe I can put that in the comments. Okay. Let me see. I'm going to go here real quick. I have to open up this window here. Okay, I have to I the window. Okay, so let's see. And then I have to download that to see the chat. Yeah, so basically I'm just going to put and I'm going to put a um, link here in in the chat so that way you can um, get access to that link there really quick. While that window chat. Okay, it's almost done loading. So, okay. 
So here we go. Let me know if you can see that okay. Okay, there it is. It should say from Restream IO, but that's still coming from me there. Um, so that's basically uh, the link there. Uh, who, who asked that? Okay, that was James. That was, that's the link there, James, um, to the Doctor of Credit article that talks about that. I mean, it's a big, really big article because he covers, I don't know if he covers like all of the banks um, that do hard pulls and soft pulls and credit unions and stuff, but I, I think he's covering a lot, a lot of information there, James. Um, so you could definitely check out that link, uh, check out that article uh, whenever you get a chance there. It's a lot of Good information. Critical thinker says teasing us, huh? Yeah, yeah, you know, a little tease now and then. It's pretty good. It's healthy. Uh, so let's see here what we got here. Um, oh, we back up. Okay, roses for me says, "Happy Thanksgiving." Are you cooking? If so, what? Yeah, pink lady, are you cooking? Cooking anything over there? I know you. You uh into groceries and stuff like that like we are so i know you must be cooking up something there special for today ricky glenn says hard pull for pen fed e roses for me says okay everything was clear on the video for the the website happy thanksgiving ditching the keto for today steamed garlic string beans roasted yam turkey cranberry sauce mm, 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 mm. sounds yummy there pink lady for sure for sure i got another idea hey. if, you, if you guys want to join uh with us today uh in our special thanksgiving day um live stream later on today um we invite you here as a guest here you know, in the live stream, and you can, sh you know, show us what you made for Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, there you go. That's an idea. Uh, so, you know, when you guys uh, cook later on today, just uh, let us know. And, you know, if you want, we can invite you on here as a guest. And that way you can show all of us what you cooked for Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, Pink Lady says, forgot the mac and cheese. Oh, wow. You forgot mac and cheese, Pink Lady? Uh-oh. I hope you got Velveeta. Uh, Janelle says, uh, I'm also on some keto stuff. That feels all that stuff I have. Oh, oh, that's what that is, Janelle? A Pink yeah, Lady says, you. thanks, bro. You're very welcome, Pink Lady, for sure, for sure. Ricky Glenn says, pen fed do hard pulls. Yep. They do. That's coming from a very reliable source, Dr. Credit. Uh, Pink Lady says, semi-keto, semi-intermittent fasting. Yeah, okay. So once again, here is the link uh, to the article that talks about uh, the banks and credit unions that do hard pulls and soft pulls. Right there, you can see um, I shared that uh, comment with everyone. I mean... Everyone who's in the live stream uh, on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Periscope, and all the Facebook groups that we have, and all of the Facebook pages that this live stream is also broadcasting on uh, right now, too. And this is where I shared it on Twitch. So you guys on Twitch could also know the link uh, to that because I don't think you guys can see all of the YouTube comments and YouTube. I know you guys cannot see all of the Twitch comments, all of the Facebook comments too also as well, unless I share them on the screen. Ricky Glenn says Equifax. Okay, yeah, okay. So Nick, Ricky Glenn even has the credit bureau that they pull from too also as well. And I also shared it on our Facebook group, Signature Marathon to elect Jill Stein. Um, that is a group we had for a few years now. And so that's the link. So you guys had any questions in the Jill Stein group about um, if PenFed uh, pulls 
a hard pull or soft pull. There's the link if you guys want to look up any banks or credit unions and you want to know if they do a hard inquiry that will, you know, take points off and drop your credit score. Also, uh, Lyndon Baptiste for Congress, Arizona District 7. For you guys that are part of that Facebook page, uh, there's a link for you guys to also to check hard pulls and soft pulls on banks. And for you guys who are part of this page, we will never vote for Hillary. There's the link. And for how to get an 800 credit score, our Facebook page, um, there's the link that you can check out in case you guys want to know. In case you guys want to look up a bank, a Nurse Providers Incorporated's Facebook page, there's the link to also as well. And we'll be doing some special uh, videos for you nurses that, that are part of our Facebook page, Dear Nurse Providers Incorporated, on Facebook. About It's going to be about uh, credit cards uh, for nurses, too, also. Okay? So we're going to have a special... Uh, live stream for you guys too in the future and also pink lady says they only pull equifax question mark good yeah, question i'm pen fed oh uh, pen fed yeah they they only pull equifax from what we know of uh janelle says yes they only pull from equifax i she checked it out pink lady says thanks to janelle awesome awesome so uh Mac and cheese. Ooh, I'm on the next play now. Where are you located? LOL says roses for me. Yeah, Mac and cheese. Love some good mac and cheese. I, I think my favorite is Velveeta. I love Velveeta. Cornell says, okay, y'all, I'm here. I had to drop my trailer. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. And thanks for showing for stopping by once again. Pink Lady says, Linda, my mac and cheese is from scratch. I always gone before I can get some LOL. Oh, okay. That's awesome. So you're making a homemade mac and cheese. I love homemade mac and cheese. Uh, Cornell, Mr. Mentor <laughs> Freeman says, so did y'all find out how to join Pen Fed? Um, no, I didn't. I, I I don't remember exactly how to join uh, Pen Fred, but I don't think I have to be like any military affiliation or anything like that. I mean, as far as I know, um, but um, it couldn't be that difficult to join Pen Fed. I mean, is it Cornell? I don't think it is. But I mean, uh, Pen Fed is an awesome credit union to become a part of for sure. I mean, I love everything I hear about Pen Fed and the benefits that they offer. I mean, they have some good credit cards. I believe they have some good rewards credit cards too. Also, um. That's not a bad idea for sure. Critical Thinker says, Credit Card Family, I appreciate spending time with you all and helping Lyndon and Janelle break their personal record. Like always, I've learned a lot, but I must call it a night. See you in a few hours. Yeah, I'm pretty much going to agree with that and pretty much I'm going to be saying the same thing, uh, people. Uh, you know, because we, we definitely need some time to to get some stuff and, um, you know, get big back with you guys again later on today for our special Thanksgiving Day celebration. And also we're going to talk about um, some cash back strategies to stack your cash back to maximize, make the most cash back, whether you're using credit cards or not using credit cards. Okay. Um, so... I'm going to go through, uh, recognize a few of you guys' comments or questions before we end, before we wrap this up. Um, Roses for me, she says she does everything from scratch. For years, she's always done a feast for the less fortunate in her area, and always she starts two days ahead. She gets things ready and she preps everything by hand. She says it's a lot of work. Yeah, I, I could imagine, uh, Roses, it should be a lot of work. I mean, getting all that stuff together, you know, the planning, you're planning like two days ahead. Yeah, it's pretty much, you know, like what a lot of families do uh, to 
get ready to have a Thanksgiving meal, uh, you know, uh, planning like a couple days ahead ish, you know, especially if you have a, like a big Turkey and stuff like that, you definitely want to get everything just right. Have everything just right. You know? Um, yeah, critical thinker. Have a happy Thanksgiving to also as well, buddy. We hope to see you later on today uh, for our Thanksgiving dinner and celebration, and um, also our topic. You know, a pink lady says you are very blessed for your service. Yes, thank you for your service, roses for me. We really appreciate you. Ronald Anderson says, uh, and I too have just made it home, dropping my trailer right now. Happy Thanksgiving. Wow. So you and Cornell, both of you guys just dropped off your trailer. You're heading home uh, for Thanksgiving. I hope you, Cornell, you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving. You know, have a very uh, joyful holiday uh, too also. And Cornell says, you don't have to be military. It's easy. Just open their checking or savings. I think all they asked was $25 down. Wow, that's awesome. They only asked $25 down. Uh, Critical Thinker says, uh, happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving, Critical. Appreciate you, brother. For sure, for sure. Cornell says, okay. You drive trucks too. Yeah, both of you guys drive. You know, um, a lot of times Ronald's in here. Um, you know, a lot of times he's listening in, you know, while driving. You know, and sometimes he'll pull over and watch the live stream too. So, yeah, both of you guys drive. We have quite a few truck drivers here. Um, that are subscribers. So you guys, uh, truck drivers, you guys definitely want to, um, you know, get to know each other. Hook up, and hook up or something, you know what I mean? Maybe have have a few beers or, or something, up. you know what I mean? Uh, that would be pretty cool. Um, Roses for me says, I'm a very kind, generous person. Always try to make someone happy. Always do a good deed. Before I harm anyone, I remember karma. What goes around comes around. Enjoy. Yeah, awesome. Very, very wise words there, Roses. We appreciate that. Thank you for sharing that. Critical Thinker says, please make sure Bridget and Panda they get will. a nice slice of ham. Yeah. But they're picky. They, they're very picky. I mean, Bridget, she is very picky. I mean, as far they as will. she will not eat just any kind of food. You know what I mean? Picky, some picky. some things she would just she won't eat. You know, uh, she'll take a, a couple of sniffs at it and she won't touch it if she don't like it. You know, but they very very him. picky. Definitely. But Panda, he almost anything. He eat almost anything, anything, anything. I, I I swear. Sometimes I think he's not a cat. Sometimes I think he's a, actually a dog, a dog in a cat's a body. Man. You know, like a. A dog in a cat's body because uh, Janelle was telling me he was growling at somebody that was walking by our apartment the outside know. the window. And I'm like, wow. I mean, I know dogs do that, but I never heard of cats doing that. Growling you know, growling or barking at people. I never heard that. Growl. But Panda does that. So I don't know. I think Panda may have had a previous life where he was a dog in another life. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, LOL. Uh, but I, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Cornell says, thanks. A critical thinker is always fun in this house. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, you all have you all have a great few hours sleep, and we will enjoy you all later on today. And happy Thanksgiving, family. Yes, for sure, for sure. And uh, Roses for me says happy Thanksgiving to Everybody you and your family. Now, Enjoy your day and the football game. So if all of you guys, if you're ready to get off now, um, we're ready to get off too pretty much and get some sleep, get back up and get back with you guys again for our Thanksgiving dinner. Hope you guys join us and hope to see some of you guys' dinners. If you guys want to come on as a guest, be on camera here. 
and show us, uh, you, you know, what you guys cooked for Thanksgiving dinner. We would really appreciate that for sure. And um, we look forward to having you guys join us uh, in our Thanksgiving dinner here, celebration on how to get an 800 credit score. Um, Pink Lady says, all right, family, happy Thanksgiving. Good night. Be blessed. Janelle says, love you all. Happy Thanksgiving. See you all later today. Good night. Cornell. Now, bless. So, one more time, I guess, uh, from all of us here, uh, Janelle, myself, Panda, where's Bridget? Bridget, and all of us oh, here at the How to Get an 800 Credit Score, stay safe, be blessed, and we'll see you guys in the next one. But for now, Welcome to the YouTube channel, How to Get an 800 Credit Score. My name is Lyndon Baptiste, and on this channel, we talk about ways to increase your credit score, build credit, and get approved for the lowest payments on mortgages and lines of credit, loans, and how to travel the world for free, uh, earn extra money with cash back, and bonuses. And if that interests you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications. That way, you'll never miss a single video as we make them. Ah. Uh.